Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, I've been I've been I've been on call this weekend, so if I've been scarce, that's why. And whew, reinforcing the um, the 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 internally pr um, formulated ratios of how will this call go based on who is doing the call, because. <laughs> Wow, had some pretty had some fairly rough ones over the weekend, but regardless, I won't be talking about that much unless it comes up. But we're gonna be playing more Dragon Quest VIII, which I've, I've been looking forward to playing. Honestly, I've been looking forward to playing like all the games that we're um, doing lately. Like really looking forward to playing these. So we'll be doing more Dragon Quest VIII. <clears throat> but before we continue that. I am still fun trying to fundraise to help my good friend Hachiko get back on his feet and save up for a deposit on a place so that he, him and his new roommates can have a nice place to live and be will be safer and stuff. So if you're able to if you're able to donate to that, I have a command every once in a while in the uh, chat bot. Well, in the chat with the chat bot, I have a command. I have the chat bot, and below the stream there should be. Like, one or two places you could click to take you to the GoFundMe as well. Any support is greatly appreciated. Yeah, I can't talk. <laughs> My brain doesn't work. <laughs> Alright, let's get the let's get the, the party started with old DQ8. I figured I would enjoy it, and I, and I, so far, and I, so far I am. Great game. Come on. Come on, game. I Come on. You literally loaded just a second ago before I <sighs> Come on. God damn it. Load. <laughs> you know, we're, we're going to start. We're going to do this again. It literally loaded, like, right before the stream. I was like, okay, let's test this out, make sure it loads, and now it's going to make me look like a fool. <sighs> Come on. Come on. I mean, it's Monday, so this is pretty on there we go thank you obs thanks for coming to the party all right now i can try to eat at least some of my breakfast before it gets ice cold like an outcast song <laughs> No big long intro this time, so. I'll just munch and go. But yeah, we were exploring. In part because at the end of the last stream, I didn't feel like there was enough time to go to this dungeon we're going to be going to. So I decided to just kind of go explore. What I'm doing as little research of this game as possible because I enjoy them a lot more and I just kind of like can reasonably like. Where I can like reasonably like learn and do the game myself. Okay, so we, we do have something cooking in the alchemy pot. Damn it. That, it's like the circle and X button do the same thing in this game almost. Oh. 
Enemies! Oh, who are you? <laughs> I haven't seen these guys before. Big sword, little hands, long feet. Probably gonna attack just like that again. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, these suck. Wow. <clears throat> oh, that one's finally dead. Yeah, those suck. Wow. Oh, level up. Alright. Well, guess that was worth it. Maybe. <coughs> Excuse me. Skill points. Staves. Chief of Staff. Of course she does. Magic Barrier. Ooh, a chest. A piece of plain cheese. Mmm. Yummy! <laughs> I'm just trying to find this castle place. Because I was saying, mm, maybe they have like weapons and armor, but it's a long ass journey to this place. And apparently it's got gems. Or whatever the hell they're what they are. Oh look, it's Bo. Wait, is this the sit? <laughs> is one named Jum and one named Bo because they're, they have like one's right handed and one's left handed? What? <laughs> That's kind of funny, but like, what? <laughs> Do you have anything? Okay, that's what I thought it did, that did. <clears throat> okay, we can like one round combat one if we if we get good numbers. I don't have any qualms of using heal like that, cause, well, only Ingus got hurt anyway. <clears throat> Where is this goddamn castle? Oh, alchemy pot. I've been conditioned like a like Pavel, one of Pavlov's dogs. I think that's what Pavlov did, or was I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong behavioralist. But I know one of them did the thing with like the dogs and bells and all that. Yay, strong medicine. We can't we can't buy it yet, so we're just uh making it whenever possible. <clears throat> then like in DQ9, you can only do one thing at a time, which is agonizingly slow, but that's so it goes. Brownies! Hmm. These don't seem too intimidating. I think we've fought them before, but.
accelerate goal. Coffee, mmm. <laughs> well, regardless of how hard or easy those were, that's pretty good XP. Uh, we'll do some healing. <clears throat> I will use magic. <sighs> My hope is that we'd have found this fucking castle by now. Cause I got a feeling we're not supposed to be in this area yet, cause considering the strength of the enemies, but... You know what? I'm stubborn. <clears throat> what are you? <laughs> Oh my god, I love I love them. Look at them. They, they got just little hand puppets. Little sl ah! <laughs> god, I really missed... I really should have played this game way sooner. These monster designs are fucking sick. I can imagine this little fellow's got some... some um... Alright. Thanks, I guess. That literally makes us stronger. <laughs> Thanks. Cool. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Kind of, a, kind of a cool enemy design. It gave us a tension boost. Sure. Cool. Whatever. Um, is this damn castle up this hill? <clears throat> I'm hoping I'm not going on like a wild goose chase because I've been. Oh, slime knights. Well, we're probably a little underpowered to fight them, but that's fine. We'll, we'll fight them anyway. We'll soften them up a little bit. Yeah, they do some damage. Got him. Another beloved monster design of slime mites. They're just cute. They're just good. It's just a little guy riding a little guy. <laughs> Well, that looks like a castle to me, or looks like something, at least. We're just gonna make a beeline for the castle. Oh, come on! Really? Fine. <laughs> it's, it's like the middle guy. It's like a right-handed guy, a left-handed guy, and then just like some dude in the middle. Oh, that's annoying. Well, that's alright. We'll just have to actually fight. Seriously. Please don't mid heal again. That'd be annoying. Okay, now they just tried to bitch slap Yangus. <laughs> I mostly just wanted to come to this place to have the fly point back to. Because 
this is not where the the church basement place is that we're trying to get into is at all. I just wanted to come here and see if I could buy some stuff before I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> Oh well, there's a well. Oh well, there's a well. It's <laughs> fucking Yang. It just goes, bah! It just falls right in. A lady's ring and puts it in the bag. Oh, pot's done. Just keep boiling away. All right, up you go, Yangus. Oh, thank, thank fuck. Okay. Oh. Well, they have a stat. They do. They finally have a staff for Jessica. There's also this boomerang. The sword. I'm guessing the sword and the bow are for uh, the so the sword and the bow are we're gonna be upgrades for um, what's his face? Um, Angelo. We haven't got him yet, but he's kind of the fuckboy priest guy we were dealing with last stream. So I'm I'm suspecting he's gonna be on the way. Oh yeah, the wizard staff has a, like if you use it in battle, it gives it's like a. I think it's probably like a Sizz spell or something. Um, let's look at um, armor first. I, I know I mostly came here for weapon upgrades, but yeah. It's an upgrade for you, upgrade for you, upgrade for you. Just lots of upgrades. Hmm. Let's see. How much are these? Those sell for 88 a piece? Well, hot damn. All right, well. Don't gotta worry about money. I'll just be making more of these for the rest of the time. Because two, two herbs is like 16. And you turn that to 88? Yeah, that's, that's some good shit. All right. Let's just sell off some of this other stuff like these clubs and <sighs> yeah I figured that was something we couldn't sell Magic water will hold, hold on to that for safekeeping. Cow pat and iron nail probably want to hold on to that. We'll sell this silk robe because it's, I think that's what Jessica already has anyway. It's not like it's gonna do us any good. <clears throat> I think we'll sell this bronze knife too because we're not using it. We're not gonna be using knives with Jessica at least for now, unless it like becomes. Uh, Obvious that it's a, a good idea. All right. Oh, I already have a better shield for her, so I can sell that pot lid. <sighs> All right. Well. We'll see what I can buy weapon-wise here. I'm definitely going to be buying the bo the boomerang for the hero. Like that's not a that's not a compromise I'm willing to make. Uh, fine. Cause that's like an extra eight points of attack. 
that hits all enemies. It said that Steel Broadsword is pretty strong. Hmm. I might have made a mistake, but whatever. We'll figure. We'll, we'll play ball late with that later. As is, I have a whole dungeon I get to go through <laughs> to get more money. Uh, do I buy that now? Hmm. Kind of wish that Yangus had a weapon upgrade, because he seems to like kind of get left in the lurch a little bit for weapon upgrades for a while. In general, it seems like. Uh, let's. You know, let's screw up by just gust. What? You might want to try to use this one of these as an item in during battle. Oh yeah, equipping this will give her more uh, magic power and uh, more, like more stats, like more MP and stuff. Like it's not really so much that you equip the stat for to use it in combat, so much as you equip it so it buffs her stats because of her uh, skill point spendage, expenditures. Yeah, that 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 guy. So so honestly. The whip isn't really going to be that more useful anymore. So we'll put that in the bag and probably sell it. Oh, he's, why do you still have whatever? He still got like this stuff in his bat in the bag. Uh, I'll organize the inventory after we do all the selling and buying shit. Cause like we're we're done at that shop. So let's go to this shop. Sell off a bunch of. Frankly, old shit that's not gonna really be worth their time. Uh, we'll, we'll hold on to that sword in case we need to do like Dragon Slash or anything like that, but otherwise, we're not gonna really worry about it. Oh, that little wooden boomerang got us a lot of, earned us a lot of money. Alright, let's let's see what we can buy. <clears throat> that would be a, a nice upgrade for Jessica. Hmm. Frankly, upgrade like little upgrades like these are pretty good too for the price, like an upgrade to three for Yangus for like three seventy. I could get both of those that, both those right now. Yeah, we're gonna do that at least initially. Okay, so I think Yingus has both of those shields in his possession because this game doesn't handle the equipment stuff quite as well as uh, DQ11 does, I can see. Okay, and then let's go ahead and we'll... Let's actually see how much this special medicine sells for. Ah... Uh, A little under double of what these sell for. Like it's it's probably more, more worth your time to make special medicines and then sell them than it is to make two special medicines and then make it to this because it's only like a it's only like three more gold. But with this, it's like a lot more gold. So um, anyway, skill sell get the scale scale shield sold. <laughs> Fucking. Scale armor could get us a little bit back. Hmm. Let's see, how much was the leather? Okay, we can buy the leather dress, and then we can sell the the, ro the silk robe that Jessica has. Ok, 
Okay. So that puts us back up to 315. I'm gonna sell all but two of these. Because that, that leaves two to go back to the hero's inventory. That gives us a nice bit more of a, a nice bit more of money to play with. Hmm. It's only a, a, a little bit of an upgrade for Yangus, but it's a pretty good one for Mobis. We'll buy one for Mobis in that case. Just trying to trying to use the money I have very uh, very as effectively as possible. Shape of slimes. They are cute, but mm. uh, that would have put it, we'd, we'd be pretty close to having enough to buy the armor from Abyss. So let's see if we can sell anything else that's not these. Uh, let's see. We don't, we don't want to sell those. Those are how we get around. Don't know if we can buy those yet. I suppose I can just sell this copper sword. Like the attack power, the, the attack power that hero has the sword compared to this boomerang probably won't really meet, make a difference if they're using dragon slash anyway. So, oh, lucky number sevens. All right, well, sell the armor and then we'll buy the correct set of armor, which is going to be this bronze armor for Mobus here. Let's try, that's. The reason I'm prioritizing Mobus over Yangus is because Yangus has more HP. <laughs> so I'm trying to balance the, their tank, their tank ability out a little bit better. All right, now I can do the item switching around. Well, we're gonna go to the end first. As long as it's not like really expensive. If it's like pretty cheap, then we'll. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll stand an end at the other place, and if need be, we can go fight a monster battle outside to get money to stay. His enemies back at the um. Like the Abbey area are pretty, are a lot easier than the ones around here. So, let's do some inventory management. Got a lot of good upgrades here. The only real one that's left to get would be a turban for Yangus and an armor, the armor upgrade for Yangus. Uh, let's move this around. Which would be another like six defense points for him, which is good, but like <sighs> We just don't got the money for it right now, but I imagine from going through this dungeon we're gonna be heading back to We probably will have enough money that in that case <sighs> Okay, let's I do like keeping herbs on them as well, if possible, just because they're cheap and easy to use in battle if there's like a, a, an emergency. Especially in the case of Yangus and Jessica, because they don't have healing spells, like Hero has just heal or whatever. Alright.
All right, cool. So now we're gonna spend the rest of our money on uh, herbs, if possible, or if there's anything cool in this shop. Yeah, I had no idea what's happening here, but like, what is a what is this? Turns milk into cheese. <laughs> Interesting. Um, oh, they do sell more bulbs here. All right, so we're gonna spend the rest of our money on uh. The rest of our money on herbs. All of it. Because we can turn that into more money and also just the healing items are better, so. Alright. It was fun coming to this castle place, but. Ascantha. Yeah, we're gonna go to, uh. Peregrine Quay and rest up. And if we need to, we'll probably just fight a battle outside of there anyway, just to make sure we have enough money. Because. The enemies out here are not a problem. Like, look, even one of the bullfinches is just, like, asleep. <laughs> Okay, so it's Frizz. Which she uses. Probably not worth our time having her do that unless she's like really low on MP. Then again, if it's just like one enemy, she can use that for free basically. Because the staff doesn't like have charges or anything. Let's see. Uh, like, just to showcase how good it is that we got this uh, staff. Like, her her MP like goes up by twenty, and she wears it, which is not definitely not nothing. <laughs> Eighteen gold here, plus it's closer to where we want to act need to actually be. Granted, we can fly where we need to be, so it doesn't really matter, but. Alright, now time to actually go to where we're supposed to go, <laughs> now that I've gotten the, the wanderlust out of my system. Uh, Rowan Abbey, let's go. Onward! It, we, we did like some like, like real life Templar bullshit with this statue here. With the, with the ring that Angelo gave us, and we uh, opened the entrance to this place. That's like some shit real life Templars would have done. Sneaky, sneaky Jesus freaks. Uh oh, enemies! Oh, hello! Well, alright. Bye! <laughs> yeah, no way in hell we're killing that. That being said, it is good to know that they live here. So if I, for an example, got somebody that could use a spear and got them to the point where they could do like thunder thrust or something, well, this is a good place to come. But yeah, I I, I went hardcore into grinding that those grinding stuff on DQ9 just because you kind of have to if you're doing like anything post game. Ooh. Wonder if any of these are uh, trapped. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Hello, little friend. I love these guys. I love the mimics. They're so good.
Oh yeah, we definitely want to do an accelerate all get a little bit of a speed boost. It's to trick these like mini boss fights, cause they they tend to be a little more difficult than your average uh, enemies groups. You're supposed to go to sleep, damn you! Okay, never mind. Okay, they're not that bad. I was expecting them to be a little worse. All right, cool, thanks. Are you also trapped? No, you're locked. Okay, that's that's basically worse. Cause if it's trapped, at least I can fight the monster and get something out of it. But okay. Ah, Ska Oh my God, he's a fly guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, well. Okay, I was I was I was expecting them to chop at me with the sword, but they just decided to throw their head. That 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 caught me off guard. Bravo. Okay, the enemies down here aren't the worst. Ooh, level up. Good job, Yangus. Even though like you just can't like <clears throat> can't just can't find any new weapons for you ever, but that's okay. You're just you're just corn fed anyway. Eight skill points. Okay, we can't, we can't put any more than that into it, so we're probably gonna need to put it into something like uh, Fist of Humanity instead. He becomes kind hearted, learns heal. Oh! Alright. Well. Alright, cool. I didn't know that's a possibility. That's nice. So now I have someone else with heal spells, so I'll, I'll honestly probably try to use his before heroes in that case, just... Ooh. Let's open these, uh, co these cabinets. I almost said coffins. They're like, co they're like coffins for clothing, I guess. If your clothing is dead, <laughs> or something. Look at all these fly guys. They sure are fly. Their wings are disorienting me just looking at them, so I'm gonna try to make them not be on the screen anymore. Hey, if that's what you want to use your turn on, fine by me. It's actually really cool that Yangus got heal. Anything around right here? Nope, those are just... Oh wow, skeletons! That's not ominous at all! <laughs> oh, bag of laughs! See, these guys should give a good, decent amount of money at least, because... This archetype tends to be full of money! Rude? That's her job! Uh, maybe a little bit more money than normal, but not anything impressive. Not, not what I was expecting, at least. Okay, that door is locked, or it's just uh, inaccessible. Uh-oh. 
That sound is the fly guys. Sounds like a weird buzzer. I mean, I guess that makes sense. It is a weird. It's, it is a bit of a weird buzzer. Look at him. <laughs> you know what? I was talking shit about the the wizard stuff, but like. <laughs> oh, heal slime. I love you, but go away. But yeah, that's like 20 damage for free. So I'm not gonna really complain. Hello, Ditto Booty. Welcome, friend. Hope you are doing well. Congratulations on your top surgery. Those teats be eats. Oh, Fly Guy dropped a treasure chest. All right. Cow. Mmm, delicious. Oh, bag of last dropped a treasure chest. That might be more interesting. Plain clothes? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> we are playing Dragon Quest Eight today. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Ooh, look at all this. Look at all this poo in here. It's like Twitter. <laughs> There's just shit everywhere. <laughs> um, can I, like, walk over any of this? Or is it just, like, not the right way? Oh, it's a mummy! Hell yeah. Alright, let's, clob let's clobber this, this Halloween costume. Oh, you're so ferocious. Kind of mummy, kind of thick though. That's okay. It didn't it didn't hurt us very much, so it doesn't really matter. Nine money. Why? Why don't you have more money? I mean, I know you're dead and everything, but like, have more money, nerd. Uh, can we like climb over all this furniture? I. I guess we probably could, but I don't know if it, like, leads anywhere. Oh, well, I guess we could do that. Alright. I don't know if that's intended, but that's what we, we did. It's hard to tell sometimes with these older games. Because sometimes you can just accidentally do some jank shit without really meaning to. It's like, oh, alright, cool, I guess, I guess we're doing this now. Uh, alright. So essentially why we're in this, like, decrepit-ass church is that, like, the, um, there's this, like, abbey where, like, this, pre like, big, important priest guy is, and his guards won't let anyone in to see him, but this, this abbey has a, a secret entrance to his, like, chambers, because it's, like, the, the abbey before the abbey they're at now, and there's, the, and the bad guy is, like, probably trying to hurt the, the priest guy or some shit. I can't remember their names. That was like last week, and this was a long week. Oh, hello! Corpse! Walking corpse, sorry. You gotta specify. Um, is there anything here? Oh, we got skeletons in here. Sorry, did I interrupt? <laughs> and like just a singular like corner of like Twitter goop. <laughs> oh, and property destruction, my favorite. A water weed mold. Ooh, a mini metal. Okay, that was worth it coming over here. Those are nice to find just because you can usually get some pretty Cool stuff. Oh, a lot of, lot of boners here. Oh no. <laughs> I love that. I, I was expecting them to chop with their swords, but then throwing the skulls is way better. Oh, they do both. Okay. Okay, can we stop attacking Jessica, please? Pretty please with a cherry on top.
it's it's the, the boomerangs are really good because they don't do they don't they generally don't do as much damage as some of the other weapons, but they attack all enemies at the same time, so overall you tend to do a lot more damage in the long run than like with a sword. Granted the sword that I could buy at this uh, place before like the place I bought this this boomerang, the sword there was had a bit more attack power, but you can only attack one target with it, so I don't know. I like I'm 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 a fan of the boomerangs. I like them. <clears throat> Let's just burn these skeletons to death. Or at least work on it. <laughs> That's a big group too. Like five? That's quite a lot. But it's not so bad we can spread out a bunch of damage on them and just, t just take them out like like if we if we didn't have these like spread things, it's sort of taking like a lot more turns. <clears throat> Pretty good amount of XP, and let's go ahead and uh... see. I just uh, Yang is just sort of heal from uh, leveling up his like his like character specific um, skill tree. I was not expecting him to ever have a healing spell, so I've just been stuffing him full of herbs and stuff. <clears throat> but that's nice. It's nice that he's got gonna have access to that. All right, what do we have in here? Oh, hello. Uh, is there anything in here? Oh, uh, there's uh, there's skeletons. Oh, there's some vases. It's kind of hard to see in here. Camera's a little, a little wonky. <clears throat> well, I don't see anything else. Other than Yangus' sexy nose. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Fly guys! These fucking bees sound like a twitch alert or something. Not bees, though. Flies. You know what? Same thing. Not really, but it'll make someone mad. Oh no, we're casting so many spells. What will I ever do? Go away. <laughs> We'll just wallop them. Don't care. Don't care, didn't ask. <laughs> Mummy boy. I probably should have healed. Oh, hello. Who are you? Are you uh, optional? You kind of look optional. So much pain, so much sorrow. Why does my goddess remain silent? How long must I languish in misery? We served you so faithfully, yet we died in agony. That terrible plague consumed my beautiful abbey. Oh, the memory, the pain, so much pain. And now you shall taste for a moment the agony I've endured for an eternity. But fear not, for you shall be saved by the blissful peace of death. Uh-oh. I don't know if this is optional or if I have to, if I have to fight this guy. <clears throat> um If this guy's got spells, this might help. Okay, that's not the worst. That's that's bearable. Let's do an accelerator to get some, get our people moving faster than him all the time. This guy also looks like the kind of guy to use like decelerator or whatever. Yeah, debuffs are the name of the game. You want to like lower their stats as much as possible.
Uh, let's use an herb on old hero here, because they've been the only one taking damage anyway. <clears throat> okay, I'll be honest, I was expecting much worse out of this guy, but I don't know if this is required or if this is just some weird sub-boss or something. <clears throat> Have some crack. There you go. Everyone loves a little bit of crack. Crack crack's good for the soul. Uh-oh. Uh, that, I would, okay, now he's kind of being a little bit more how I expected things to be. <clears throat> so we're going to focus these ads down. We're going to keep lowering your defense so that the, uh, Boomerang hits still to hurt you quite a lot. Oh. Well, that could be bad if she gets focused, because she just has a lot less HP. Oh, you just don't take much ice damage, do you? That's okay. You take hammer damage! <laughs> yeah, the, the, the walking corpse isn't very threatening, so we're gonna just kill him by proxy with the boomerang. I probably should heal, but I just kinda wanna focus this guy down, if possible. Okay, yeah, that wasn't too bad. I was expecting worse. Okay, cool. It probably helps that we have better equipment and like I don't know, we're just seeing it Jessica just to get it didn't get focused to death, because she's in the back line. Six skill points. Well, boomerangs is. I wasted a bunch of them in swords initially, because like, oh swords are good, and then I was like, oh wait. Boomerangs are really good in this game so far, so. Up to treasure chest. A gold rosary. <clears throat> oh, oh my goddess, my dear sweet goddess. At last, I shall rest, cradled in your blessed arms. Again, don't know if that was required, but... Cool. Oh. Well, thank you. Thanks, goddess. You really are real. <laughs> I have a feeling that was optional. It feels optional. But you know what? It's fine. The XP was nice to have. Is there anything else in this room? We don't have a we don't have a map of this dungeon either, so uh, uh, I'm getting turned around because I, I was getting turned around. Yeah, I feel like, like this is this was optional because it was like in that room with like you had to walk over the furniture and the, and the goop, and I feel like most people would just like turn around and not go there, but I'm stubborn, so I just kind of went there anyway. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> <laughs> but 
Most statuses don't even last after battle anyway. I think Curse might be one of the ones that does, but eh. Yeah, I, I, again, I think, I have a feeling that was like completely optional. And if it's not, then I'm glad I did it anyway. Um, I probably need to like go over here. Okay, so there was a path over this stuff. I just didn't take it and ran through the poop. What else is new? Yeah, walking corpse, get punked. Can't use Alchemy Pot, the Alchemy Pot in dungeons. Noted. Um. Actually, I think I already checked that door and it was like closed or something. Pretty fly for a fly guy. Say, is this actually gonna affect me? And not quite. Oh, damn. Alright, well, that one's definitely dead. <laughs> Jessica's now level 14, sweet. 3 HP, 8 MP, those, those are more of the level ups I was expecting. Like, for a while she's been getting like 6 HP, I was like, oh, you're spoiling me. But now, the, yeah, this is more of what I was expecting. Surprising amount of strength for, you know, a mage. Learns, ooh, finally. She has, that's a, bang is a uh, party, uh, and, and hit all enemies kind of spell. Yep, and I'm just dumping all my all my skill points as much as I can into uh, stabs, because that gets her new spells as well as just like that's the way we came in. This is I don't think we went this way yet, which is probably the way we're supposed to go. Drakima, I love Drakis. Look at them; they're just little they're just little guys. You can say that about like 90% of the Dragon Quest monster designs. They're just little guys. <laughs> I love them. I love them so much. All right. All right, Dracula. It's time to go to time to send you to hell. Straight to hell. Oh, there they go. <laughs> Hitting a lady. <laughs> Stinky skeleton. The XP here is pretty good for how hard the enemies are because they're not very threatening. Look at this orb of a man go down the stairs. What a lad. Okay. Well, I guess we'll find out if this was the right way to go and I just didn't go that way and fought an optional boss. I have a feeling that's the case. Cause yeah, we're finding like more chests and stuff, so I probably just did like went and not did an optional thing. It's locked. Uh, hopefully I get this damn key soon. All right, can we go in here? We can. Uh oh. Oh, that's okay. That's the door that we can't open from this side. Rude. Well. 
That's fun. I sure do love one-sided doors. What is this, Legend of Zelda? <laughs> Probably. Not really. <laughs> They really, really want us to not cast spells. Okay, fine. You, you finally did. You finally did it, and it worked. Assholes. Even, even more important to have boomerangs so that you don't have to worry about having the only source of group damage to be spells that can be fizzled or blocked or whatever. Well, I could probably still use the wizard staff anyway. Because that's not a spell, that's an item. Granted, not very good, but... It's surely, it's surely better than nothing. It's further prevented from casting spells. Well, fuck you. Fuck you, bug. An annoying fight, but not hard. And the XP and money are pretty okay. Like, like we could we could afford to buy the piece of armor for Angus, Angus that we left behind in the castle town that we went to before we we're supposed to be there. Although frankly, I'm tempted to like evac and then go. Um, just yeah, we're gonna evac with a hero because well, just because MP's a little a little low. It's not really, it's not low, but I just wanted to be like full and stuff. All right, we don't have zoom yet, so we have to still use uh, Chimera wings. So let's go Paragon Quay. We'll stay at the end. We'll buy some more Chimera wings, some more herbs, and we'll continue. Eighteen GP for full stats. We take that. Let's go to our friendly neighborhood item shop. And that guy's trying to get into some chests. We don't have the key for that yet. I just want to get some more herbs because when we're one when we're not in a dungeon, we're, we're, while we're wandering around training or stuff, we use herbs to make uh, strong medicines, which sell for a significant markup compared to the herbs. Because the herbs are like they cost like eight to buy, and you smash two of them together, and then you can make a, uh, a strong medicine which sells for eighty-eight, which is really good. Like it's like that's a really good way to make just money for doing nothing. Fortunately, it takes a little bit to actually do, but mm. actually, we're gonna save before we go back to the dungeon because, as as much of a no nothing burger as that fight with the the priest thing was, that was risky of me to do without saving. <laughs> Granted, if you die, I think you just get sent back to like the nearest church or like the last church you use, so it's not the end of the world, but like. Yeah.
Onward! I mean, probably could use the Chimera Wing from there, but... You know what? We're, we're already committed to the bit, so let's just go forward. <laughs> oh, thanks, Comcast. I sure do love that I just look over and notice I, I've dropped like a thousand frames somewhere. Love, love your work. Fucking shit ass. Oh, by the way, if, I'm, uh, if if anyone has a cell phone plan, be sure to call your your like pro your provider about it and check to make sure they're not fucking ripping you off with extra bullshit you don't need. Because like this last week, my roommate like I was something the the topic came up and my roommate and I lo looked at my phone thing and it turns out I've been paying like four extra forty bucks a month for shit I don't use. That I that they just kind of signed me up for whenever I got my new phone. So, that double check that shit. They're they're out to they're out to fucking rob you blind. So, yeah, I really wish I would have found that out like six months ago. It really do be like that. <laughs> yes, no fucking kidding. Like they're they're just they're just out to just put their hand right in your pocket and take out what more than they're entitled to. I like how, like, in all the encounters, I found only one metal slime. That was the first encounter I found, and I have not found one since. And it's all just bugs now. Maybe they only live up there in the top area. I don't know. I just think that was really... Maybe that was a scripted encounter. I have no idea. It would be funny if that was a scripted encounter. Oh no, the ad zone! Bezos, no! Well, you'll be happy to know that these bugs are he, him. Because <laughs> one of them rubbed his four legs together. They're literally four arms and four legs. They're not like little stick, little spindly insect legs. They're actual arms and legs. <laughs> Alright, unless, unless necessary, we're going to be just using, trying to use as little MP with Jessica as possible. Oh, Drachima! Drachima! Don't you do it, damn it! You put Yangus to sleep. Welcome back to the land of the living, my friend. I love these. I love Drakies. They're just little guys. Look at them. Big shit-eating grin. No, no thoughts in that head whatsoever. We love them. Certified champions. Now they're dead. Oh Jesus Christ, Jessica! <laughs> Just clobbered them with your stick. <laughs> Just bat. Just gave him the hurting stick. I was gonna say hit him with the ugly stick, but can ne those can never be ugly. They're just they're too they're too precious. All right. So it seems like this um, p place, part of the um, okay, that's locked. Part of the fun is that some of these doors are trapped. Or at least one of them is, and this one doesn't look like it leads anywhere. Yeah, it doesn't lead to anything. That door leads us back out to a part of the dungeon where we don't want to go, so we're not going to go in there. Bag o' laughs. Ain't that funny? They're so funny. Burn. Get clobbered. It's clobbering time. Okay, maybe those do give more more money than uh, normal. Okay, is there any? Th um, where do I go? Oh, well, that's nice. There's just like another mini metal in here. Um, because that door takes us back out to a part of the dungeon I've already been to. Is there any other doors I might have missed around here? 
Oh, we got a monster mash here. We got like a bunch of dudes. We'll leave the flies alone for now because they don't really do anything. I'm not. I'm trying not to use any MP with Jessica anyway, so it doesn't matter if they mute her uh, spells. Ooh, Dracula, what you got me? A Moonwort Bulb? Oh, thank you, you little sweetheart. You? Okay, um... Oh, there's... I didn't notice there was bookshelves over here. Maybe there's one I can... One, one that's worth a shit. Oh, there's one here. It's a monk's diary. Dear diary, the life of a monk is spartan and meager. I cannot bring myself to throw away... Throw anything away, no matter how worn or worthless it may be. Yesterday I sewed an old and worn out bandana to a bandit grass skirt I had lying around. You know what? It turned out better than I thought. It seems obsessively squirreling away old things has its advantages. Ooh. I actually have those. Well, I think I actually have those things. If not, I can buy the, uh, the grass skirt. It's a monk's diary. Five people died yesterday. Two more today. The disease consumes its victims with terrifying speed. Where is it coming from? Is it being spread by humans or rats or something else? Nobody knows. Only one thing is certain. There is no cure. The plague has turned our once peaceful abbey into a living hell in the blink of an eye. Is the goddess testing us, or is this a punishment for our sins? I don't know. One thing I'm sure about is I have lost many brothers today and I will lose more tomorrow. Damn. Alright. Alright, I'm probably gonna look up a map for this place, because I've combed through it pretty handily. And I did find that, like, boss thing, but I don't know if that was optional. I stumbled, I ha I haphazardly like stumbled into like a, um, like a, an optional sub boss it seems like. So let's, let's see. Hmm, let's see. Wait a second. Oh, man, I want to see in the map for this place, but, like, it mentions that that guy wasn't optional. But it says we can leave after that, so may I must have, like, missed... The um, I, I must have missed the exit, so I, I guess I guess we're going back there. Eh, whatever. It's not the end of the world. I mean, there's no really not any other places I could go other than back there. So maybe there was a door behind that dude, and I just was blind or something. I don't know. Okay, I think I found a map for it. Let's... Let's see. Okay, that's the entrance. Okay, that doesn't really help, so I guess we're just gonna try to go back to where we were and figure it out from there, because... Yeah... First comes ours, we end up getting more XP. Boohoo. Oh, there is something over here I might not have went and grabbed. Never mind, nothing there. <laughs> Except this bag of laughs. He's very hostile. Rude.
I'm gonna send you to little guy school to learn how to be a little guy a little better. Ooh, there's coffins, my favorite. Well, they did say a lot of monks died, so I guess that makes sense why there's so many coffins. The amount of skeletons, though, is a little unnerving. Didn't they just give up on burying any of them, I guess? Uh -huh. Oh, hello. You're probably not sticking around, but... Yep, bye. We're, we're not fast enough, and we don't have the, the, the means to really reliably kill those, so I'm not really going to lose too much sleep over it. Okay, so this was the intended path, as it turns out. I thought I like stumbled upon like a, a hidden like Easter egg boss. Oh, well, there's another one. All right, well. well I guess we can all just tr throw ourselves into the metal slime and see what happens. Because if we luck out and crit, that's a lot of XP. Probably gonna run away though, but oh no, it decided to frizz. All right, we there's a chance we actually kill this one. I said a chance. It's, it's probably not gonna happen, but especially with that happening, yeah, we're probably not. It's probably not happening. Yeah, it's not happening. Half the more than half the party is asleep. Yeah, it's gone. Son of a bitch, whatever. Now we'll just have to fight these. Yes, we know, you're you're so cute and you have smooths. You're you're very funny. And you can't you kids can't damage anyone. Well, you can you can hurt her, I guess. Well, I guess we can use Bang, because I guess that was the boss we'd fight, be fighting in here anyway, so whatever. Fuck you. <laughs> Dracumas. Ruining our fun. Because that could have been a Metal Slime kill, but the Dracuma decided it was time to go to sleep. Alright, so this is the... Oh, yeah, there, I, there totally was just like a little path off to the side. Yep, I just wasted a bunch of time for no good. I mean, granted, I explored part of the dungeon that we didn't go to, so it's not a complete waste of time, but... It, it was not super productive of our time. Okay, we're just gonna use Bang again. We did it! Bang! Oh, I didn't do much to the mummies. It seems like these undead monsters are just kind of resistant to magic in general. Well, that's annoying. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like statuses stay after battle whatsoever. Fine by me. Let's go our way up this winding path here. <clears throat> nice. That's awfully convenient. <clears throat> I definitely want to destroy those while I'm here, otherwise I might not get too many other chances to get around here. Oh, great! <laughs> that was a wonderful use of my time. Okay, we couldn't pass by him anyway, fuckers. Well, let's find out if that Abbot's dead. Probably is. If he's not dead, he's probably fucked up. Because these guys are fucked up. Ooh, books! Uh, don't mind me, I'm just gonna per peruse your books. There are many books related to the church and religion here, including 
history of Mela Abbey, Chitting Made Easy, and Passage to Neos. Neos? Do you mean Elemental Hero Neos? <laughs> Fucking Yu Gi Oh! This book in her puns, The Fire of My Youth. It seems to have been written by Abbot Francisco. Ever since I was a young lad, nothing has inside me so much as the creation of puns. I created a training regimen by challenging myself to come up with five new gags and ten new puns every day. This book is the fruit of my efforts. It represents my comedic blood, sweat, and tears. Ling has flipped through the pages of the bad jokes with a chuckle and Claudia replaced the book on the shelf. <laughs> At least the abbot's not a stuck-up asshole. Like, like everyone else in this abbey. Why are pirates so popular? They just are! Oh my god. <laughs> what do you call a fish with no eyes? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> a guy walks into a bar. Ouch! P.S. I deserve a feather in my cap for that one. I think it's Oh! <laughs> Alright, cool. Well, g thank, g thank goodness for for jokes to teach us an alchemy recipe. Honestly, that's pretty, that pretty cool. Okay, let's find out what, ha what happened. Ooh, ominous music. Oh, he's actually here. Oh, he was, at least. Or at least some aspect of him was, slash is here. That's Dual Magus. Wakey, wakey, if you're alive. <clears throat> what sinister presence lingers in the air? And who are you? Did you want to speak with me? There they are! It's them! You'll be damned for trying to take Abbot Francisco's life! What on earth? What's going on? Abbot Francisco, Captain Marcello, at your service, as always. Ah, Marcello. Tell me, what's happening? There has been a breach of security. Many of the guards have been seriously wounded. What? I feared you might be in danger, so I came immediately. And sure enough, we've caught these criminals. They've been loitering around the Abbey since midday. It seems we were just in time. I thank the goddess that you're safe. Wait. These people are no criminals. Please, Holy Father. They were caught red-handed. Look into their eyes. See their pure hearts. These people are guilty of nothing. Man, you church people are just real eager to throw people in jail, aren't you? Listen to Daddy. Very good. But we must find out what they were doing here in your residence so late at Well, how else are we supposed to fucking talk to people if you assholes won't let us talk to them during the day? At the very least, let us ascertain that. Please. Dragon Quest pigs. Yeah, these are, these are worse than pigs. They're church pigs. <laughs> you really are a warrior, Marcello. Yeah, we get to get me tortured at least. If you must. Thank you, Holy Father. So, shall we go? Yeah, I grew I grew up as a Southern Baptist, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, very Catholic vibes. <laughs> yeah. Now look here, we ain't done nothing wrong. And Yang is just this extreme British mode. Yeah. We told you, it was your man who asked us to check up on the abbot. What right have you to keep us here? The abbot is too forgiving. If you're innocent, then who attacked my men? I, on the other hand, am not so forgiving. You won't fool me. 
so don't try. You're confessing it. Who is it? You sent for me, Captain. Oh, it's it's the fuck boy. Come in. It's Angelo. Got this man or the really close. To, oh no. But there's something else first. We've just arrested these intruders in the Abbot's residence. They were attempting to take his life. They wounded six of my men. It's probably like, no, they didn't. <laughs> He's like, damn, that's Very impressive. Well. The problem is this. My guard is watertight. I make sure of that. There's no way for an outsider to get inside the abbey. Unless, of course, they have inside help. And would you believe it? When we searched their possessions, we found this ring. Templar Angelo, where is your ring? Show it to me now, if you have it. <laughs> Who knows? It's turned up. Thank the goddess. What? Someone stole it from me at the pub. And it looks like they're about to learn that crime... Oh, so this guy's just an asshole, too. Stole it? What? You little fibber. Fibber. We've no use for a ring like that. He set us up. I should have known better than to believe a single word from the mouth of a filthy cheat like you. I have nothing further to say. You can find me in my chambers. <laughs> hey, they did their best at the poses in this game. This is from like Wait. 2005. We're not done here. He's like, yeah, we are. <laughs> Fine. I'll deal with him later. So bad. <laughs> first things first. You've wasted enough of my time. Don't try my patience. I want answers. What did you plan to do to the abbot? Confess. <sighs> How many times have we got to tell you, eh? We ain't got nothing to confess. Uh, who is it what now? What is it now? <laughs> we found a suspicious monster loitering outside the abbey. What? What kind of monster? Oh, it's King Trode. Oh. Ouch! Ugh. What the devil do you think you're doing? That's the cursed king in the, the title of the game. <laughs> you, youngest Jessica! Is that fucking <laughs> Um, no, but it's definitely a monster. The king got turned into a monster. You were gone for such a long time. I was getting rather worried. So I just decided Is that a fucking you? you <laughs> <laughs> so, this monster is a friend of yours then. So much for your pure hearts. What's wrong with you? Unhand me at once, you insolent ruffian! Get him off me! You are in league with the monster. You may have deceived Abbot Francis. His best quality is Wiggles. But you don't fool me. It was the monster who ordered you to steal the ring and infiltrate the Abbey, was it? You cursed heathens. Thought you could scare people by killing the Abbot, did you? Make them question their faith? And then move in and take control, I suppose. Dude, you're really thinking way too hard about this. Take these monstrosities to the cells. Come dawn tomorrow, I will have you tortured. Perhaps then you will realize the gravity of the sins you have committed. <laughs> Until oh, they got an Iron Maiden there too. This is authentic. Well. No, no one expects the fucking Spanish Inquisition in your Dragon Quest game. Jesus. What's up, Yangus? What? Believe in nerve. We ain't done nothing. Let us out here. <laughs> There's no point screaming. We've got to use our heads and get out of this cell. Can't you think of anything? Hmm. Well, I have the evac spell, but that probably only works for me. I'm no monster. I'm a king. Blast every one of these Templar twerps. Up. Shh. Someone's coming. 
Well, look who it is. Mr. Red Robe himself, fuckface. Good evening, everyone. Glad to see you're all looking so well. Ah, come here, you! <laughs> I, I do love how Angus is just ready to fucking throw down at a moment's notice. Now, now, control your temper. I must apologize for before. Perhaps you will accept this as conciliation. What are you up to? The guard upstairs might hear if we talk now. I'll explain later. Come on. Follow me. The guard's up ahead. Right, no one make a sound, okay? Honk shoe, honk shoe. I seasoned his supper with a generous pinch of sleeping powder. Perfect, it worked. Sleeping like a baby. Okay, through here. Honk shoe, honk shoe. Right, we're safe in here. You can talk again now. This is literally the God. torture room. Tell us what's going mm. on. What ordeal do you intend to put us through next, hmm? Like I said, I'm sorry about before. If I hadn't lied about the ring, Marcello would have been onto me like a shot. And I haven't got anywhere else to go if I'm chucked out of here. But I came to get you out, didn't I? <sighs> Come on, don't be angry. Anyway, let me show you Angry Yoda. <laughs> well, what is it? There. And that's real blood on those spikes, you know. <laughs> if I were to throw you in there and shut the door, your whole body would be skewered. I could make you holier than thou without so much as getting my hands dirty. Not bad. Eh? <laughs> I'm feeling that's not what happened. <laughs> In here? Like I said, not bad. Eh? All right, fuck boy. Well, in we go into the belly of the beast. What's your game, eh? First you grass on us for something we ain't done, and then you come and help us. Sorry if I've confused you. The people here have a bit of a trust issue with me. Oh, I wonder why. I couldn't stick up for you before. It would have backfired. The man who interrogated you, Marcello, he hates me. That's why I had to let him put you in the cells before I could help you. That's all well and good. But you still don't know us from Adam. Ain't you worried about us being friends with this old monster, eh? You're just happy to let us go, are ya? True, I don't know anything about you. And I wasn't there when you were caught. But I do know you saved the abbot's life. Because just before you were brought to the interrogation room, the sinister feeling that's been lingering in the air went away. I must thank you for that. I'm not so ruthless that I'd hang you out to dry. And besides, I couldn't stand by while there was a lady in trouble. Marcello's a rather talented inquisitor, you know. I, what is that supposed to mean? Outside. Is he a rapist? He pro he's probably a rapist. <laughs> it, it, it would be fitting. Uh, God. I'd be, I'd be more church bad if I, if I played this as a kid than I already am for playing other JRPGs. God Goddamn. Medea, my Medea, you're safe. Oh yeah, the princess was turned into a horse. Were you lonely without me? There, there. It's all right. We'll leave this horrible place at once. The princess and I will go on ahead. 
Make sure you're not too far behind. Princess? Whatever. Come on, let's go. You'd have to work pretty hard to mess up your escape from here. Anyway, I'm sorry for all the trouble. So, this is farewell. May the goddess watch over you on your journey. Huh. Well, I assume he's going to be joining us at some point soon, but maybe not. Is there anything, any property to destroy in here? Probably not. Oh. Oh. All right. The bridge. Is the whole abbey on fire? Surely that jester didn't come back again. Oh no. I've got to save the abbot. Well, I'm going to assume that we have to go back in. Oh hey, Winkies. Hello, little friends. I love them. They got they got little chicken legs. Oh, well. We can break just spam the X button, just attack everything, because these are... These enemies are not very threatening. Yeah, I'm guessing we have to go back to the Abbey. And I'm guessing Angelo's gonna get blamed for the fire, and then he's gonna get exiled, and he's gonna join our party, or something like that. Oh, the Lump of Mages. Hello, lumpy little men. Look like a big pile of shit. <laughs> Ooh, level up for Yangus. Nice. 11 HP. He's thick. He, he is thicker than a snicker. He becomes a busybody. Learns nose for treasure. I think that lets us know how many uh, chests or whatever are left in the dungeon that are unopened. That could be useful. Well, I guess we're going back in the Abbey and, like I said, probably to witness Angelo getting exiled. If you heard some traveler went so far to the Abbey, he wasn't from around here, of course. Oh yeah, of course, it's always an outsider, right? Do not panic, it's just a small fire in the kitchen. We'll soon have it out. We can see the flames from Simpleton. I hope Angelo is alright. Yeah, she's she's a, she's a bit of a tier 3 subscriber for Angelo. Uh, we're, we're gonna save. Because we've done a lot, and I don't want like any of it to get like wiped out by like some like freak accident. Everyone just ran off inside a minute ago. Has something happened? Angel just came running in from outside, and I heard he was confined to the Abbey during penance. The wretched sinners had the gall to flout his detention. Oh, fuck off with that sin bullshit.
Oh, we're just gonna run through the flames, huh? Alright, that works. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Damn! Where's Marcello? Huh? That sinister presence again. No, not sinister. It's worse than that. It's pure evil. As if all the demons of hell had gathered to feast upon Abbot Francisco. Run! Oh, well. This, this bridge is only made for one, apparently. Even though all like three of us it's are. The Marcello, are you in there? Damn! What's going on? No good. It won't budge. You lot, did you follow me here? Doesn't matter. I need your help. Just one last time, all right? We're going to have to do this by brute force. Hey! There might just be enough of us. That's my favorite kind of force. The door's locked from the inside. We've got to break it down. Come on, everyone together. Yes! What happened? Come on, stay with it. Stay with it. What? Tell me what happened. Thank the goddess you've come. Help the app. Who on earth did this? He's dangerous. Captain Marcello is in trouble. Ugh. Rip. Ripperoni. Oh Jesus! Well, the just er. Uh, you must save the habit. I guess we have to finally confront Dual Magus for the first time. There he is. Just in time for Halloween. Marcello! It was all that jester. I couldn't stop him. He's strong. <coughs> but you can't let him. This is an order. Templar Angelo, get the abbot to safety. Stands in my way. No, not the ice voice is great. Ugh. You dare lay a finger on Abbot Francisco. Don't worry, Marcello. I will be fine. I have given myself to the goddess. If it is her wish, I am prepared to die. But wretched sinner. If that is not her wish, nothing you can do will ever harm me. The goddess will protect well, us all from whatever evil you can muster. Well, this guy's got a lot of faith. Time to see well, if that's... Well, what yeah. faith <laughs> you have? Let's put it to the test, shall we? Wait, 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 wait! Go, blimey! <laughs> Yangus, why? What's that face for? It's been a while, Dual Magus. Ah, if it isn't King Toad, looking as small and ugly as ever. God, his, his expressions on his face are like the best. Shut up! Return my daughter and I to normal at once! Do you realize what you've done to my castle? Oh, magic power. Oh, I think the abbot's dead. 
I have a feeling he's dead. That feels very dead to me. Uh, what? Such a pity. It seems fate and your benevolent goddess are both on my side. <laughs> yes, such a pity. Poor Francisco. <laughs> my work here is done. Damn. Parting is such sweet sorrow. <laughs> there he goes. Out just out the window. <laughs> well, that's a properly evil villain. It's a fucking clown too. Of course he's an evil. Of course he's evil. <laughs> well, Following day, under a heavy cloud of rain, Amber Princess's body is committed to the ground. Meanwhile, Duel Omega slipped away into the darkness once again. Marcello, who somehow managed to escape injury, explained to everyone the events of the previous night. Mavis and the party were cleared of any suspicion. Everyone at the funeral felt a terrible sorrow at the loss of the abbot, and the heavens, too, wept tears of grief. The rain continued till dawn, the start of a new day. Sleepy, sleepy. Okay, I had to actually press a button for it to do anything. <laughs> it was just kind of psyched, spinning around forever. Ah, you're awake. I realize I said it before the funeral, but I just wanted to assure you that everyone knows you're innocent. If it weren't for you, Captain Marcello could well have been killed too. We're all in your debt. Anyway, the Templar captain has summoned you to his office. See you later, then. Don't forget. Whee! It's a running circle. I guess stumble in circles. Oh, you. Captain's been waiting for you. Hurry up. Alright, Marcello, what is it? Ah, there you are. I trust you slept well. King Trode has explained everything. I apologize for having doubted you. Dual Magus is the true culprit. In the name of the goddess, we must strike down that diabolical jester. But I cannot leave here now. As the new abbot, I have much to do. I must be here to guide my people. So, I was wondering, according to what King Trode tells me, you are all pursuing Dormagus. So I have a proposal. I would like my brother Angelo to accompany you on your quest. Brother? I thought you said you wouldn't have a rule breaker as a brother. 
quiet. I wasn't talking to you. <clears throat> Angie. Angela, you are the only one we can spare at the moment. Everyone else here has duties to fulfill. Only you are without such responsibilities. I'm useless, you mean. No need to beat about the bush. Fine, I understand. You've made yourself perfectly clear. I will leave the Abbey. I will travel with these people. And I will avenge the Abbot's murder. I'll be waiting by the carriage with Medea then. Bye bye. This is a map of the world. If you're going to catch Dormagus, I'm sure you'll find it indispensable. Consider it a peace offering for having doubted you and your friends. Please. I accept the world map. Very well then. I entrust Angelo to your care and wish you well on your journey. <clears throat> Well, uh, let's check these bookshelves while I have the chance. It's the spring issue of a magazine called We Love Our Weapons. Who doesn't love the boomerang for its ability to strike multiple enemies at the same time? Still, complaints abound about the low attack power of the basic model. We put our heads together to solve the problem. After months of research, we probably can use Reinforced Boomerang. So, new recipe for the alchemy pot. Boomerang plus something pointy. Great. It's a book written by Abbot Francisco. Well, that's gonna go up in value now. Many centuries ago, individuals called great sages walked the earth, serving as guides and mentors for the people of the world. According to legend, each of these great sages wore a garment called the Sage's Robe. They say these robes are made by combining a magical robe with a scholar's cap by some secret method. If one were able to discover a way to combine these two items, the Sage's Robe would be the result. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. It's where he sleeps, I guess. Ah, alright, well. Well, they fixed the bridge. Well, fixed is a strong word, but... <laughs> Looks like we'll be seeing a lot more of each other. I hope you don't mind me coming along. I'm not doing this because Marcello ordered me to. I'm doing it for Abbot Francisco. He was like a father to me. That jester, Dulmagus. He can't get away with this. And this place. I'll be glad to escape. It's no hardship being asked to join you, believe me. And anyway, I promised you, didn't I? I said I'd reward you for helping me. So, Jessica, from now on, I'll protect you. I won't leave Cringe. your side. Consider me your personal bodyguard. No. Sure, Romeo, in your dreams. <laughs> so the fuck, the fuck boy Templar joins our party. I mean, you could tell, like, the instant we saw him that he was going to be a party member. No way he wasn't. Okay, let's hit the road. Now I can imagine we're supposed to go to, um... 
Let's see, he's got a rapier. He's got a... Oh, she doesn't have Tubbar's ring anymore because he got it. Uh, let's see, I know we got a rosary from somewhere. Give that to him, and then the ring can go back to Jessica. Okay, our strong medicine is complete. Now what we're gonna do next though is I got a recipe for a bandana and a bandit's grass skirt which we just so happen to have so we're gonna mm, I do believe you're onto something here okay let's talk to you you probably have you heard the news the abbot's dead former temp temporary captain is taking his place yeah, we know. We, we, we're there. <laughs> we... Okay, so this is the world. Um, I don't know where else to really go other than um, back to that one place that we got went to before we're supposed to. So let's go there, I guess. Can't trust a white-haired anime boy. Yeah, it usually ends up uh, bad. <laughs> So what's going on here? Have you heard of a jester called Dual Magus? Huh, as if a jester would come to a gloomy old place like this. Everyone here is dressed in black. If a jester had been here, he would have stood out like a sore thumb. Okay, fine. Jeez. Yep, that's an Angelo weapon. I don't know what, what bows really do. So, let's... Oh, I think I'm, I might, I may be a little over leveled, perhaps, because he arrives at level 12, and that's probably, I'm guessing that's maybe the intended level we were supposed to be at for all of that, and, well, we're not that, <laughs> so, um, for now I'm going to focus on getting him some armor as opposed to, um, Okay, maybe he just doesn't get any armor. No armor for you, Angelo. You just kind of have to deal with what you have already, which it's not great. Well, we did need to buy this, buy that for Yangus anyway, so. Person. They mo they moved my party around on me. Now I'm wondering if um, this chainmail can go to um, Angelo. 
Nope, never mind. It goes to the. It gets sold. I don't even know what that item is, so we'll hold on to it. In, in the event that it's something useful. Well, I guess we can look now. A chunk of mold that's as cold as ice. Oh, I think we use that to make cheese. <clears throat> I don't know why you would want to, but I guess you can. Well, I guess let's find out why everyone here is all dressed like an emo band. What about you, guards? What do you guys say? Ascanta is in the period of official mourning for our late queen, so don't go making any unnecessary noise. It's been two long years now since the queen passed away, but the king... Ugh, never mind. Well, let's go talk to the king, I guess. That sounds like a, an idea. Whatever brings you here to our kingdom. I don't know, looking for hero shit to do. Well, we got these, like, these... Well, Babe statues pouring water. Hmm. What do we have up here? I'm going to assume this is where the king's like being all like sad at. Oh, he's trying to cook his majesty's favorite meals, but he won't eat so much as a bite. He keeps on like this, he'll end up joining our dear departed queen. Well, don't got time for that, I got pots to destroy. And barrels. Red mold. Mmm, delicious. Hey, King, wake up! His Majesty's maid, Emma, has been working so hard these past two years. She hasn't taken a single day's holiday. The King's still spending every day in tears despite her best efforts, though. It must be very hard on her. It's like a little steppy stool? I don't know. Oh, this is those stairs, so. Probably ran out of places to mine aimlessly go to. This is probably where the king is anyway, up the up this stairway. The audience chamber is just upstairs, but if you come to see the king, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. The minister deals with visitors nowadays. Nice plant. I love stealing things. Give me things. Give me your stuff, king. Oh, king. Slay. <laughs> Alright. Are these bookshelves I can read? No, they're not. I love just rifling through all this, this like, sad, depressed king's shit. I'm like, oh, I'll take that. Please and or thank you. Alright, well, I'm guessing this is the minister. He looks like he looks like the freaking front man for Ghost. <laughs> well, except that this guy's got like facial hair. Ah, it's just unusual for us to have visitors here. Welcome to Escantha. Regrettably, you find us in mourning for our late queen, so the king is presently unavailable. I'm afraid I must request that you leave. Oh, great! King Chambers is upstairs. Well, let's go find out if we can. I don't know. Talk to someone. Oh, pot's done. <laughs> the microwave's done. 
Let's see what we made. Ah, the moment of truth. I can hardly. Let's see what you've concocted. A pair of boxer shorts. Hell yeah. Unfashionably, unfashionable underpants of the sorts often worn by men in their twilight years. <laughs> Yangus can wear them, but they're bad armor. It's, it's kind of funny. They're not. It's not very good armor. And it's probably a waste of our time making it. But you know what? It's fine. Oh, something's happening. Oh, hello. You're cute. It means you're important to the story because you're not just another. Are you feeling all right, Your Majesty? It's me. Emmer, the maid. I see you haven't eaten any of the lunch I brought you, Your Majesty. I'll be sure to bring you your favorite for supper. Please, Your Majesty. Please answer me. I just want to make sure you're all right. Very well. I'll leave you in peace. I won't be surprised if he's just not in there. It seems like a uh, thing that Dra Gordon Quest likes doing stuff like that. It's like, surprise, the king's not actually in there. He's just gone because he got kidnapped or, you know, yada yada, whatever. Um, I'll stop, like, prospecting and... Let me in! Fine. Keep your secrets. <laughs> Wow, they're small. We're giant. He's hardly eating a thing either. And I could hear him weeping all through the night yesterday. He was such a benevolent and wise king when the queen was still alive. I'm terribly sorry I'm of so little use to him. I see. So it continues. It must be difficult for you, Emma. But I need you to keep trying. If the king cannot recover from this, the country will fall apart. I just don't know what to suggest. Ah, hello there. Do you seek an audience with the king of Ascanther? I'm afraid his majesty has been unavailable to visitors since the period of mourning for the late queen began. Two years ago. He comes down to the royal suite every night, but I doubt that he'll grant you an audience. I realize that that must seem strange to you, but if you return after dark, you'll see for yourselves. Well, there's our answer. We'll come back at night time. Oh, goddess. Oh, <laughs> that seemed a little unusual. Just ran on thin air. <laughs> Okay, so we'll stay at the end and we'll come back at night. I guess the cool thing about Dragon Quest is that, like, um, I, it, was, it was proven explicitly in 11 is that these games are still compatible with the format they've been since, for like, the first game, where, like, if you turn this into an 8, uh, like, a 16-bit game, it would be basically essentially the same kind of game. Because there's a mode in, uh, there's a 2D mode in Dragon Quest XI that lets you play the entire game in, like, 2D. Which is interesting that they, and it's, you can play it in 3D or 2D. And there's, like, some parts of it that, like, the, uh, the DLC stuff with, uh, Talkington is, like, almost entirely 2D. So it's just kind of cool that it's, like, both in the same game. I don't know, I, I just think that's cool. Alright, it's not it's sleepy time. Oh, it was sleepy time. It's time to find out if this king has like secretly been like cursed. I mean we already have one cursed king, what's another? Ooh, what's in here? What kind of goodies can I find in here? Oh, it's like a guardhouse. So probably nothing but a bunch of depressed soldiers. Oh you know this. It's part of the castle.
Yeah, we already went up this way, and this should lead us into the castle proper. Oh, hard to see with all these banners flying. Not flying, these banners just kind of draped around. Okay, now I think it's like just upstairs where we'll find him if he's actually gonna come down. Oh, looks like a king to me. Why? Why did you have to go to heaven to leave me alone, my dear Sasha? It's been two long years. Time stopped for me when you left. I'm sure my heart died with you. Just one more time, even in my dreams. If only I could see you just one more time. I thought you my crown and my throne mean nothing. I'm helpless here, left all alone. Don't, I, I, I... Okay, yeah, he's just not gonna say anything else. Um, well, let's. Maybe his room is not locked anymore, and we can break in there and see if there's like something suspicious. Oh, hello, Nakora. Welcome. Oh, yep. This looks like a bedroom to me. Um. Uh, well. Nice pillow. We are playing more Dragon Quest VIII, and now we're dealing with, with a, a kingdom where the king has been depressed for like two years, and we're trying to figure out what we can do about that for him. I guess. I don't know. I'm just kind of wandering around talking to people. <laughs> oh, yep. We came by, and there's the Emma the maid, the cute maid. Oh. We actually came by. Did you meet with his majesty in the royal suite? He was just kind of crying. I must explain. The king is refusing to speak with anyone at present. Please forgive him if he caused offense. You see, he's never been quite the same since Queen Sasher died two years ago. Sasher? If only it were possible to meet with those who've passed away. Oh, it would mean the world to the king if he could see his queen once more. You know, my grandmother used to tell me lots of stories when I was small. Lots of very strange stories. I'm sure there was one about a way to make any wish come true. No, oh, it's no good though. I, I just can't remember it. I'm sure she'd be happy to tell me if I went to see her, but I'm so busy with oh, the wait. castle. There was a chapel at the there was a chapel at the riverside that we stopped at where they said like their uh, like their granddaughter worked at the castle. I'm afraid I must ask you a favor. I'd like you to go and see my grandmother. She lives in a house west of here, next to a bridge. Could you ask her to tell you the old story about how to make wishes come true? Maybe it's just a fairy tale, but if there's any chance it might be true, then I have to try and help the king. I wish I could go and ask her myself, but there's so much to do here at the castle, and I, I can't leave him on his own. I'm really counting on your help. My grandmother lives west of Ascanther, in a house next to a bridge. I pray at church every day that the king will be happy again. Please, help me to help him. Okay, you're twisting my arm. Let's go and help. Let's go and help, let's go and help, let's go and help. Oh yeah, we have Angel as a party member now. The fuckboy priest. I'm guessing this is where. Oh, fine. We'll 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 we'll, we'll leave the actual town. 
fucking rude ass rude ass game. It's like, oh, you can't use a wing here, even though it's clearly outdoor. Oh, just because there's stuff happening here, I guess. Mm, I see. Magnificent! <laughs> what a dutiful maid! Worrying about her master so. I am impressed. A faithful retainer like her is a most precious treasure to a king. And you say she's about the same age as my dear Medea? I mean, I guess. Very well. Now, this is an order. I want you to help this maid with her request. I beg your pardon? A detour? Well, if you get onto it quickly, it won't be a problem, will it? Off we go. We must lend a hand to this delightful maid of yours. Okay, yeah, that's exactly where I thought it was. So now we're gonna use a wing, a uh, Chimera wing. So she, she's either in this chapel or she's um, near the chapel. Greetings, travelers. Like to rest here in our chapel. It's a religious hall. Oh, how convenient. All right. Thanks. Thank you, Jeebus. Sleepy sleep. Did he just fart? <laughs> no, I don't know what that was. What you doing, King Trude? Ah, Angelo. You look like you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders. Maybe it would help to get it off your chest, hmm? And not that I want to force you, mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. Maybe things will never be right between us. He... Marcello will never forgive me. If only we didn't share common blood, I'm sure we'd get along fine. Yeah, both their both both of Marcello and his dad is like a was like a drunk like womanizer, and one of them was born out of wedlock, <laughs> which I think was Marcello. They might actually be going over it now. Well, here comes one of them. Abbot Francisco was always well known around these parts for his benevolence. He'd often take in children who had nowhere else to go. And I was one of them. My parents were well off, part of the aristocracy. But then they both died. Hmm. All of a sudden, I was left with no family and no money. The Abbey was the only place I could go. Kind of impressive he made it all the way to that chapel on his own as a little as a little squirt. That bull haircut. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's more like the Trunks haircut, actually. You're new here, aren't you? 
Oh, Marcho is way older than I thought. Are you here to join the brothers? Have you come all on your own? Oh, you must be exhausted. Where are your things? Is that all you've got? Um, my mummy and daddy died. So I don't have many things, and I don't have anywhere else to go. You sound a lot like me. But there's no need to worry. Abbot Francisco and all of us will be your family from now on. But... but... Let's go and find the abbot. Come on now, don't cry. Why don't you tell me your name? Oh, uh, this is, he's gonna be like, oh, you. Angela. Yeah, I knew it. You. So you're Angelo. Leave. I want you to leave. You. Leave and never come back. I don't ever want to see you again. So you're intent on ruining this life for me as well, are you? God damn. Oh, there's there's the abbot. <laughs> Marcello was the golden boy of the abbey. He studied hard and had a bright future ahead of him. But when it came to me, his attitude wasn't so positive. I'm so sorry, child. I'm sad to say I heard that little exchange. It's so unlike Marcello to act like that. I just don't understand. Ah, I see. I always knew he had a half-brother. That's you, isn't it? You're Angelo. Well, they say time heals all wounds. Let's hope your living here will make everything all right. Now, come along with me. From today onwards, this will be your home. Why don't I introduce you to everyone? Not long after that, I heard the full story for the first time. About how I had a half-brother who was born from an affair between my father and one of the maids. Yep. And that was Marcello. If I hadn't been born, he'd have been next in line to my father. But when I was born, Marcello and his mother were thrown out of the house with nothing to their names. She died soon afterwards. He had no one. So he ended up at the Abbey, hating me and my father for all those years. Even though it wasn't Angelo's fault. You know, he was just born. He didn't ask to be born. None of us asked to be born. <laughs> Troy's like, God damn. Quite a bombshell, don't you think? I was so young and innocent then, too. The whole thing hurt more than you can imagine. Still, c'est la vie. My father got off lightly. He did just what he wanted and then died, and left me to take the consequences. I'm the only one left for Marcello to hate now. In a way, I can't say I blame him. And it was probably good that we lived together. It certainly added a bit of spice to the humdrum life at Maella Abbey, anyway. Angelo, I'm so... This story's gone on long enough. Look, it's nearly daybreak. Wait! It seems like King Trode is having some character growth. And he's Naruto running! There he goes! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Naruto run! There he goes! I love that's how he runs. It's funny. Good morning, may the goddess be with you on your travels. Okay, so. I don't know if that was required to, to stay at the end like that and see that little story, but, like, I know that, uh, nearby. A 
should be a house. Yep. There we go. Probably get probably getting into a fight or two, but that's fine. The enemies here aren't too scary. Uh oh, brownies! Uh, he, oh, he has whoosh. Oh yeah, he's he's definitely the priest kind of character. That one survive. You know what? Whatever. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna do some party lineup stuff, because I think Jessica might be like in front or some shit. Oh no. Mm. Definitely Angus in front, because Angus is easily the, the most defensive. <clears throat> Once we get some gear on Angel, he'll probably be more defensive than, um... Probably be more defensive than Jessica by a at least a decent amount. Alright, this is probably the lady we need to talk to. Yes, that's right, Emma's my granddaughter. I'm getting on a bit now, you see, so I know all the old Asganther folk tales. Let's see. The story about making wishes come true. That must be the story of that strange hill upstream of here. It said that if you go there on the night of a full moon and wait quietly at all night, a door to another world will open. It's probably just a silly old fairy tale, though. I'm afraid I can't tell you whether it's true or not. It gets so cold and spooky up there, you see. I've never known anyone willing to stay the whole night to find out. Haha. -ha. Well. Guess that means that's where we're going. Probably up that direction. Oh, these guys, Pan Pipers. They, that, they got blue legs, blue feet, blue pants. Well, not really pants, but you know, whatever. Clobberin' time! Yeah, having four people makes fights a lot easier. Because if you had three, there's sometimes just like the awkward amount of enemies left over. Alright, we'll, we'll stay at the end again, we'll save and we'll try to go up the hill and like, figure out what's going on. Alright, can't, we can't rest till night it looks like, but that's okay. By the time I get up there, it might be dark time anyway. <sighs> Plus that give us some an excuse to get some XP for Angela, because he's leveled like 12. <laughs> Everyone else is at least like 14, if not higher. Uh, let's actually look at Angelo's skills. Uh, I, was, I was hoping that he'd be able to have spears. So we might, hmm, at some point we're probably going to have to pivot Mabas back to spears. Or Yangus to axes, because axes and spears let you do hatchet, do uh, all or nothing attacks that either crit or miss, and those are some of the best ways to kill metal enemies like metal slimes and such. Which is a good way to level up. And I know that in that ruined abbey place, the metal slimes very infrequently show up there, so if we need to grind levels, that'd be probably what we do, but we're just gonna try to find this place. 
Oh, jumps! These guys again. Uh oh. I can't do my job, Boots Console. <laughs> oh no, what will I ever do? Turns on video games. Well, that makes like three people in my party that have heal. Let's see. Nearby treasures. Oh, he has zoom. Oh, you beautiful bastard. Okay, that's great. He has zoom, that's amazing. Usually it's the hero that gets that. Maybe the hero will at some point, but... Um... Can we actually go this way? No. Maybe it's like just further around... Clockwork Cuckoos! Oh, Woosh is pretty cheap, actually. Oh. I guess they're just... I mean, I guess it makes sense they're birds. They'd be a little more resistant to the wind. I love how their heads flop around when they get, um, when they get hit. Ow. Bad birdie. Thick. Thick birdies. Chimeras, they're probably gonna be, have to be our targets because uh, they can usually like breathe fire and shit, so we want them to not be alive. Oh, they're not groups, whatever, fine, we'll just uh. You know, <coughs> we'll do bang because there's just so many enemies. Oh well, Bang does a lot to those metal enemies. Rude. Yep, they, 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 oh, ow, holy shit. Yeah, that's why we're, uh, trying to kill them, because they just do a lot. That was a bit of a rough one. A lot of XP, though. And with Angela having Zoom, we can kind of get get back to where we need to be. So this is probably a good place to level up, as long as you don't have anyone die.
Uh, I wonder if it's further up and around. It might be. I don't know. I'm just wandering around. Oh, fat, fat bats. They are, they are some chonkers. I wonder what they do. Probably annoying shit. Let's try whoosh. Oh, yeah. That's pretty annoying. Don't wipe your ass on my head. Yeah, that didn't do that didn't do much. Bonk! <laughs> Got him. Okay, they didn't get much money. That wasn't great. But we don't really we just kind of fight whatever comes our way. Well, there's a treasure chest. We're gonna grab that. Oh, it's locked. Great. I sure do love that. I really need the freaking key. Uh oh. This could get nasty. That did okay damage. It could could be worse. Could be better. Ow. Well, at least not all of them are just breathing fire breath. I knew one of them was probably going to, but like. All right, Jessica, you're up. Your crack needs to kill this this thing, or it's probably going to go badly. Ah. Uh, okay. Well. We got we lucked out, it didn't fire breathe, otherwise I would have probably killed two people. Cause these enemies don't fuck around up here apparently. Alright, Yangus is out of MP, now it's here <laughs> Imabas' turn. I'm trying to use up MP before I use up items, cause going to the inn is a lot more effective than buying herbs for everyone. Um, I don't even know if I'm supposed to really be up here, but they said somewhere up in the hill, so that's kind of where I thought I needed to go. Oh, <laughs> look at this dude. This dude's amazing. He's like a, little, he's like a sumo wrestler, dude. Bo! He's just an orb of a man. We're gonna kick his ass. <laughs> Rest in peace, round man. Uh-oh, tree face! Hello, tree face. We're gonna try to kill you, like, immediately. Bang! Like, the birds are annoying, but that tree face could probably do something more annoying. Ooh, nice dodge. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Oh.
Bonk. No level ups lately, jeez. Admittedly, they've got a lot less love XP than the other two. Frank, I'm more, I'm more tempted to use Angelo's MP as long as he has like enough left to use a uh, zoom. Because if necessary, Hero can use a uh, uh, Sizz as well as Jessica. So if there's an enemy that's a little harder to take care of with physical attacks. We can at least use magic. Oh, what the fuck are you? <laughs> a lot of a lot of uh, Diamond. A lot of unique. Um, well, for now, we're gonna target this freaking Chimera because, like, yeah. They're weak to ice, so... Crack will do a lot. Okay, that didn't seem very threatening, so I'm glad I made the right choice. Oh, that's annoying. Nah. Could be worse. Oh, sweet, a level up. Not who I expected to get a level up, but... We definitely take it. Six skill points. Please give me some boomerang things, please! He becomes an iron boomer. Increased by... Power, attack power increased by ten. Alright. Yeah, that's not nothing. Oh, did I... Did I have I, like, neglected the alchemy pot? I, I might have neglected the alchemy pot. Yeah, I forgot to make start making something else. So we're gonna we're gonna just start making some more of those um, strong medicines. If not to use them in battle, then to um, sell for money. Because it costs like 16 to make them, and you get 88 out of it. So it's just kind of passive money gain. Is this this is kind of the okay? Well, I guess we're gonna go down here and see if this is what we're supposed to be here for. A lot of enemies! Ugh, jeez. In this case, we're gonna use Bang because there's just other enemies to deal with than the Chimera. Well, especially with Hero falling asleep, that's obnoxious. It's a lot of missed out damage. Okay, we killed that. That's actually more, way more dangerous than these fat bats or whatever. Don't wipe your ass on my face. That's rude. Oh, your MP's out. Fucker. <laughs> There we go, there's a level up for Angelo. Oh, that, oh, those are the levels I was expecting from Priest. Ooh, gross. Tingle. Uh, let's see. Is this skill which allows you to use the Cherub's arrow technique for recovering MP? At the highest level of the skill, you will be able to use powerful demonic swords, staves, We're gonna go with bows, and I'll probably end up buying a bow for him. Alright, we're not gonna use the one on Angela for four fucking HP. That's, that'd be a little silly. 
Alright, who do we have here? Oh, never mind, more of these fuckers. Oh, bang. Looks like it's bang again because these cuckoos take more damage from bang than whatever else. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. I guess that's fun. I probably should. Like just like just only lost 10 HP, but that's like still a decent amount of HP. Well, let's fight this guy. Sharpshooter. It's like kind of like a rare spawn enemy. So far, this doesn't seem really that bad. Oh, well, that's annoying. Well, whatever. Angel is not really doing that much anyway. <laughs> 46 XP, and ooh, we got a copper monster coin. That's like 200 gold for, for not much effort, so I'll take it. We're starting to run out of MP, so hopefully I find whatever place this is soon. Wrong button. Like, went all this way for what? This treasure chest is probably gonna be locked. Yeah, we're not gonna use MP for this fight, because I don't think these things are very threatening. Oh, maybe if they do this. Ooh, all right, get him. I've got a feeling I went on a wild goose chase, trying to find this place, so... If we go too much further and can't find it, then, you know. And the damn chest is locked anyway, you know what? Fine. I can't say it's a total waste because we did get a good amount of XP. camera angle choice. Oh, there we go. Level up. Finally. More HP. Thank fuck. Um, six skill points. Staves. She becomes a junior magician. 50 MP when using a staff. And that's why she has a staff. Because goddamn it's a lot of MP. Alright, there's, there's nothing up here other than this chest that it's kind of annoying to get to. Alright, Angelo. Zoom back to the chapel and we'll figure out. It text. Yes, it did. That big at the fat bat used the butt rub. All right, let's. I'll just. I'm just gonna look up uh, this part and figure out where to go. Cause it said up the hill, so I went up the hill and it just wasn't 
there, so it must be a different hill. <laughs> or something. Or maybe there's a hill behind that lady's house. I'll look at the map and see if we can figure it out before I look it up. Let's save real quick, though. I'm doing my best not to look things up unless I have to. Like, unless, like, I exhaust my own resources for easily doing so. exactly wants us to go so we're gonna look up um... Okay, so it does appear that it is, in fact, behind the house. Her house, rather. So, we're gonna go behind her house, and I guess down by, we can go down by the river. Oh, this guy again! <laughs> He's like, look at my puppets! It's like, yes, your puppets are very cool, Mr. Dude. Good job. You literally boosted our attack power so we could kill him faster. Well done, Mr. Puppeteer. I'm sure later versions of that monster aren't going to be quite as uh, kind. Yeah, there's definitely um, something going on around here. Oh, okay, here's the way down to the riverside. Oh, these assholes again. Oh, he's turning red! Uh-oh. <laughs> As he dies immediately. I was just thinking if that was about to be done. Okay, I don't have either of those things. Um... I already know that recipe and I know how to make it without looking at it, so. Off we go. Oh, hello. Ah, Calamari, Calamari Kid. I was wondering if those were, were from strictly from a DQ 11 or if they're from a, a, a previous DQ, and here they are. Alright, well, 
Sea Urchin. That, that's that's a fun name. <laughs> right in the eyeball. Oh, you're you're weak. <laughs> They're also weak. <laughs> yeah, I, if I'm not looking up, I probably would have never found this shit, like... This isn't uphill at all. Or whatever. Hello? <laughs> bark, bark. Ah, oh, calamari kids. Look at all these calamari kids, yeah. All right, let's, let's focus on actually killing them. Starts to play clean his face, me too. Oh wow, they don't like, they don't like whoosh. Well, it looks like a cave to me. <clears throat> DJ Calamari! All dead, and that's the power of having group it like group strike attacks. Granted, those weren't very hard anyway, but I definitely made that a much simpler fight. Ooh, what's in here? Ah, Slime Knights, hello! Might as well have him do wish. It's not like it's gonna hurt nothing. Oh, perfect! Actually, wiped it out that, that without them even get to getting to act. Free money, free XP, basically. All right, did that say something about? needing it to be like a full moon or something so we're probably not going to be able to like actually do anything in here yet until it's night time oh well, that, that's great I guess I can sell that one not a big deal These things have a lot of HP for this level in the game. That's annoying. Whatever, get out of here.
Yeah, me too, Yang. Yeah, he's like, oh, really? Okay, so poison stays after battle. No. Thankfully, Hero has Squelch, so I don't have to waste the items on healing the poison. Well, we did. We got. We 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 bought the wizard stuff in that Ascanther place, and well, we got another one. We got another wizard stuff in here, so we can just sell that one, I guess. Not a big deal. You know what? Let's see if Bang does more damage to this group. Eh, maybe a little. Ow. Rude ass. Bonk. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> He's the weakest spell in the game. Got him. Pot's done. Oh, fine. I can hear a ding from there, but I can't check it. Rude. Hmm. Ah, tree faces. Hello. I, that's what I was worried about. Okay, thankfully it didn't actually hit Jessica because that drains MP usually. Not very much fun. Trees destroyed. No chomp. Me want bite. Me want Yangus. Head delight. <laughs> Me want bite. Fat bat drops the treasure chest. A wing of well, I guess that makes sense, right? It's a wing. It's a wing of bat. Since I've had Android using uh, Woosh a lot, I'll have Hero use their MP strictly for um, heals. Hero is the boomerang. That's a group attack anyway, so you know. Well, by the time we get to this place, it might actually be nighttime. So, oh, Daimon! It's a pun because they're a demon, but also they have a like dice eyes underneath the mask. So it's like a a combination pun. See, there, there it goes a one snake eyes. <laughs> Alright, are we almost to this, like, this place or whatever? I got a feeling it only opens when, at night time. Ah, uh, Bodkin Bowyers. We did it! Bang! Big tree chomp! Yep, that's not fun when they do that.
Bonk. Tree destroyed. Oh, nice. Level up 17. Just a bunch of HP. <laughs> Club skills improve, he has become a big bludgeoner. Chances of winning a critical hit with a club or hammer increase. That passively helps um, with the. Um, with like metal slime stuff. It's not a direct, like, oh, you're gonna always crit when you use this, but it's at least something. Well, I guess we're just gonna walk around until it's nighttime, because I think. We have to wait for it to be like a full moon or the full, the full moon, and it's it seems like it's a full moon based off of just like how the sky was earlier. Oh god, there's just a lot of them. Fighting Angelo! Punk-ass punk tree- punk-ass bats? You know what, whatever. But anyway, I'm gonna use another bang. It's just cause it's like, super fast, so... Lots of XP, there we go! Now the levels are starting to roll in. Four, four... Two, four, three, one. Kabuff. Oh, that's good. That's a party wide defense buff. Really useful to have. Okay, yeah, we did start increasing his uh, bows. He learns basic archery techniques. Learns Sandman's arrow. I'm guessing that puts people to sleep. Just, just, just gonna go out on a limb and assume that means that, that puts people to sleep. Uh, oh wow, yeah, Angela got beaten up pretty bad. That fight. Well, now that we're outside, maybe you can actually use the alchemy pot. No, nope, never mind. We're still technically in a dungeon, even if we're not, like, in the dungeon, I guess. I'm suspecting it's gonna be up here when it's nighttime. I just gotta run around and wait. Hello, Hachiko. Welcome. We're playing more Dragon Quit. Look at this dude! Good morning! Well, I hope you have a great day, Hachika. He's so- yeah, they are- he's just- Yeah, this game- this game's great, good shit. We got the fuckboy, uh, Templar in our party now. His name's Angelo. Uh, let's see... He's the he's a white he's the white haired fuckboy Templar. You love to see it. Okay, when is it gonna be nighttime? Do I just need to bitch a little more for it to turn to nighttime? Ooh, bugs, hell hornets, fat bats. <laughs> okay, well we're gonna use. Hello, Chrono Triggers. How are you doing today? Fuckboy's my favorite. They're so round. <laughs> Oh, the bee dodge. It probably would have died. Bonk. S send the bat to horny jail. Bonk. <laughs> oh yeah, this game's this game this thing this game fucks. I love this game so far. This is my first time playing DQ, and I've played uh, quite a few of the others. But I just hadn't got around to playing this one yet, so here we are. 
enjoying it so far. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, Hero will be fine. Hero can, Hero can take a hit. If I'm not mistaken, we gotta wait till it's nighttime and then there's gonna be a door up here or something. So I'm just kind of walking around, waiting for it to be nighttime. Maybe I don't know. I don't want to have to go all the way back through the dungeon and have the time progress. But if we have to, so be it. Uh, so far I'm pretty good. I'm just trying to like play the game and learn stuff on my own. But um. My assumption for Angelo is that bows might be a good thing for him to have, because he can't have, like, spears or anything, so... Having bows, I guess he can learn, like, an MP recovering move or something. Oh, Wing of Bat. So I figure that's what I'm gonna do with Angelo, other than being, like, a heal bot, basically, because... Yeah, it's like a, a priest thing. It's just heal. Yeah, I'm assuming there's a, something happens if it's n nighttime here, but I, yeah, it's not really happening. A lot of dudes here. Uh, I currently have my he the hero with uh, boomerangs because they just seem like they're doing a good doing a good amount of work. Alrighty, appreciate ya. Appreciate the offer. Oh, I probably should have healed Angelo, huh? Yeah, I probably should have healed Angelo, it looks like. They're picking on him. Oh, Angus is asleep. Great. Um, I use the uh, program. Uh, let me look at it real quick. Uh, it's a it's a Vado Tube Mini. That's how I used to um, make it hop. Otherwise, the I made the anim the GIF myself. Like it's a GIF that's kind of gets to hop around when I talk and all that. Yeah, Vado Tube is really great. Ooh, Magic Beast Hide. Those are pretty. Good to have. Okay. Let's see. Angus, continue to use up your MP when possible. Oh, I guess we're just roughhousing some more critters until it's nighttime. Because I came up, I got up here, and it started turning nighttime, but I don't know, like, if it's gonna time progress more. Big old stinky tree. And the fat bat. Alright, well. Whoosh. Yeah, I'll, if I have to, I'll like go outside the dungeon and walk around a bit till it turns nighttime. Yeah, these, those trees are great. They're great, good monster design. Oh, he rubbed his ass on me. <laughs> Triple kill. Good amount of XP getting up, just hanging out up here. Um, we're probably fine for another battle. I say that, and then we're going to go into like a really big fight, and then... Or maybe I'm just a fool and needed to go up this way. Don't mind me, just going, just wasting time, as usual. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is surely where I go, and then it's probably not. Well, I guess let's go up this rope. Uh, 
Well, that was a little embarrassing. It just kind of like sat around thinking, oh, this is where it's going to be, right? And then the answer is no. That was probably a dead end. <laughs> Not like this! Oh, um, well, my, my bean has a, another form that whenever I press a hotkey on my keyboard, they transform to a slightly different appearance. Ooh, level up! Nice! Let's see, 9 HP, 4 MP, blah blah blah, blah blah, ooh, skill points! Boomerangs, go! A great boomer, uh, Firebird, ooh, that sounds cool. You know what, just for you, let me see, I think I can just kind of spin Sega Jank if I want. We'll just, we'll just redeem it and I'll do the thing. And we transform! My, my chest opens. Yeah! <laughs> It opens when I talk, because it's actually a mouth. <laughs> oh yeah, Angelo got the shit kicked out of him. Oh, alright, well, Yangus is out of MP. Onward! Since I think we're actually getting somewhere now. It's like the mind's eye. <laughs> it just, it just opens. Real wide. <laughs> oh, here we go. Well, there's um. It's a full moon. It's a remembrance of nature building. A little more than the frame of a large window remains standing. Um. Well, maybe the door is around here somewhere. Hmm. It's kind of weird that there's like just like an examine of that window like that. Is there somewhere else I can examine, or did I just waste all of my? Did I waste time coming up here? Hmm. It it does that does look like a door, and it is a full moon. Hmm. At least it looked like a full moon. I was thinking you like examine the the window from like another uh, angle or something, but maybe I'm off base for this. Hmm. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm close to the realization of it, but like. Hmm. If I'm close but not quite to the mark, then feel, please feel. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was had to. I had to leave after examining it. Got it. Clever, clever girl. Uh. Just to be sure, let's make sure we're all at full health and such. Before we're going in here, in case there's a boss. Because this seems like a, oh hey, you're going to open this. Oh, it's a minute. Oh. A timer, huh? That's sneaky. I, I was about to literally leave. That's cool as shit. <laughs> Into the spider verse. <laughs> Ooh. Well, ain't this nifty? I love mystical shit like this.
Now who do we have here? I am Ishmari, keeper of the Moon Shadow Land. Is that so? Welcome to my realm. You look possibly evil. Maybe. I don't know. Just a vibe. Either evil or just like, you're either really good or really evil. There's no in-between with characters that look like this. Many moons <clears throat> have waxed and waned since human foot last trod this earth. Weary travelers. Oh, absolutely. I welcome you now to the land of the moon shadow. Enlighten me. What desire opened the moon shadow window on this night? No words. Oh my god, that's <laughs> Winnie the Pooh! Oh bother. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. My, sh my shoes! What the fuck are you doing to my so, shoes? Pavan longs to be reunited with his dearly beloved Sasha. You stand amazed, mouths agape in wonderment. Ah, forgive me. I have yet to uncloud your eyes. Children of the light of day, do you believe that memories are yours alone? Your clothes, houses, tables, and chairs, <clears throat> the sky, the land, they too remember each passing day. Silently, they sleep in a dream world of memories. The moon's light may give shape to these dreams, these memories. I cannot stir this daughter of the sun from her eternal sleep, but perhaps I can end your friend's waking nightmare. <laughs> and where did my pot funny go, Piglet? Lead oh, me bother. to the castle. Lead me to the scene of Pavan's misery. Pavan! Oh, well, alright. Guess this ethereal elf man with magical instruments is gonna come with us. Hope you like running. Whoa, nice globe. We don't even we don't even have globes like that in 2020. This guy's living in like 2039. <laughs> I mean, I can imagine we probably can uh, do evac out of here once we get out of this. I have a feeling it probably wouldn't work very well in this realm. <clears throat> Oh, well, that, that's fancy. Oh, wait. you Are you asleep or... Oh. Yep, sorry. You gotta sniff Yangus' balls a little bit. <laughs> Just a gentle whiff. <laughs> Alright. Just a whiff. A sniff. He is very sad. Oh, grieving soul. May the moon's rays trace the scenes enacted here long ago. She's everywhere. <laughs> She's not real, dude, but what is this? A dream? An illusion? <clears throat> no. No. I remember this. 
you. Is wrong. <laughs> what is wrong? Sasha. I've missed you so. These two years I've thought of nothing but you. <clears throat> Ever since you passed away. <laughs> You're not still fretting about this morning's missive, are you? You mustn't. You made the right decision. You're always so lenient with people. But sometimes you need to be firm, too. That's a king's duty. Everybody believes in you. You must stand tall and proud. Ascantha is your country. Oh yes, I have news. The innkeeper's dog has had a puppy. He wants us to think of a name. Yeah, he's realizing this is like a memory. Is that? Yeah. Me? Yes. I remember this. It was the spring before last. So, this is a memory from the past? <laughs> a puppy, you say? What do you think? No doubt you've already thought of a good name for it. <laughs> it's a secret. Why? If you've thought of a name, then I'm sure it's splendid. Tell me. Surely you have a suggestion too. A name for this puppy. But I'm sure yours is... Shush, Nalpavan. I think any name you came up with would be simply perfect. My dear king, you're a wise and kind man. You should follow your own instincts. <laughs> <laughs> I was planning to use the name you thought of. That's all I decided. Uh, uh, yes. She was always like that. Always giving me so much encouragement. Sasha. Why? <laughs> I think we might have made him more depressed. <laughs> Sasha. Why are you always so strong? <clears throat> because my mother gives me strength. Your mother? But she passed away years ago. I never told you, but I was very timid as a child. So weak <clears throat> and afraid. And every day, my mother would try hard to encourage me. When she died, I was so sad and lonely, but then I realized, if I went back to my old, weak self, I would have nothing left of my mother at all. It would be just as if she had never existed. I realized I had to be strong, that I must remember her words of encouragement and everything she taught me. That way, she'll live on inside me for always, forever. Sasha, you're right. I should be more like you. <laughs> Shall we go out onto the terrace? The weather's so nice today. It would be lovely to enjoy the breeze together. Whoa, what happened? It's like, she became real for a second there. Uh-oh. Look! Your country stretches before us as far as the eye can see. Oh, Ascantha is so beautiful. Yes. Beautiful, Sasha. So beautiful. My darling king, for people to live their lives happily, you must be strong. Oh, it's morning time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Everything you ever told me 
lives on inside my heart. Forgive me, Sasha. I finally opened my eyes. I'm sorry for being so sad and lonely. I mean... <laughs> I know this is a fantasy game, but it doesn't exactly always work like that in At real last, life. <laughs> I finally awoken from my long and terrible nightmare. But it's nice that it works for this guy. Slurpity slurp. Never again will I forget the things Sasha told there he, me. There he goes. This month just chowing down. It felt like a dream, but I believe in what I saw. Thank you. Well, now we're all allowed to be happy. Thank you. Thanks to you and Emma, I've finally woken up from an unbearable nightmare. Now, I can be a proper king to my people again. I cannot thank you enough. If there is ever anything I can do for you, please do not hesitate to ask. I swear, I will do anything in my power to repay you. Anything at all I can do to help. Farewell, my friends. May fortune ride with you on your continuing journey. I hope we will meet again soon. I'm just gonna sit here if I don't press anything. <laughs> as <laughs> as Angel just drinks and Angus is like, mmm, that's some good shit. <laughs> just like the just an awkward silence of mmm. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> Angus is like, nom 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 nom. Good for him. So you're chasing after a jester nick called Dual Magus. Well, I'm afraid I haven't heard anyone talk of anyone like that passing through this cantha. That's not much to you, I know. And there I was just now saying I wanted to help you. Thank you for the follow. Cole underscore triggers has joined the Bean Army. Appreciate ya. Just now saying I wanted to help you. I'm sorry. Eh, where'd that Ichimari bloke <laughs> disappear to? Feels like it was all sort of kind of, kind of weird dream, done it? So that sissy of a king has finally pulled himself together and started to behave like a real man again. Angelo, that's not very polite. Eh, you know what I mean. I didn't mean to blur it out quite like that, though. Maybe I've had a bit too much of the old moonshine. That made me think about, about Alistair. I suppose he lives on, too, in my heart. Well, I guess we just leave? Then... Maybe maybe you can find Emma. Maybe she's like, oh, my granny once said blah blah blah. Oh, hello, Minister Dude. Emma worked tirelessly during the two years of His Majesty's depression. This time she was given a decent holiday, and more besides. Uh, is she around? <laughs> maybe she's on the roof. Uh, let's see. Well, she's in here. She's not up here. Let's go in here anyway. Oh, there she's in his room. This room's been kept just as it was when the queen died two years ago. But His Majesty has finally ordered for me to tidy it up, and that's that's what I'm doing now. All right, cool. Well, um, that's good. Nice skybox, JPEG. I guess I'll just talk to everyone on my way out. The King's Chambers is upstairs. Yep, yeah, whatever. We know.
Attention! Oh, alright. <laughs> Last night was great, wasn't it? It's been years since you had an all-night banquet like that. Thanks so much for cheering the king up for us. Have a safe trip. got to show off my skills last night. What do you think of the banquet? I finally had the chance to see everyone enjoying my food. It was wonderful to see them all dig in like that. <clears throat> oh, Yangus likes your food. Now the king's maid, Emma, should finally be able to take some holiday and visit her family. She'll be so pleased. I'm sure she will. Try not, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not going to miss any story shit by being, having like one NPC down here be like, oh, I, I heard blah, 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 you know, because all JRPGs love that shit. It's been a long time since I've properly taken care of my equipment. It's it's busy work. Oh, hey, this, look, this armor looks like, like, just like, um, hero armor, like from... Other Dragon Quests, kind of. I, I think I might have missed these things first time through. Oh, yep, that was good. Um, there's the little iron shield with like the kind of like crest that they always have on it. Welcome, welcome. Okay, this is just that place. So, I've officially searched everything in the castle, it seems like. So let's go talk to the townsfolk and see if they've got any... If there's a story thing that happens, or maybe there's... Do I stream on? I stream Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and when I'm not on call at work, uh, Saturdays. So, I'll be streaming tomorrow as well. I start at 7 a.m. Uh, um, Mondays and Tuesdays start at 7 a.m. on uh, CST. King's Guard said he's like a different man now. It's not just he's happier. It sounds like he's stronger minded than he used to be as well. Um, I do computer work at a hospital. For my quote unquote real job. I don't, really, I don't really consider Twitch a job because, well, I don't really make money from it. It's more something I do because I want to and get to play games. I got changed into my favorite dress and everything. Why do I have to stay here and look after the shop? It's not fair. You can barely see over the counter, kiddo. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm just chalking everyone because I don't really know what else to do at this point. King named my dog for me, you know, didn't he, Tango? Oh, sorry, I skipped that. Woof, woof. Oh, okay. Well, that was important, was, you know, dog, but. <laughs> All right, so. We already went down the well, and I think there was something there. Um, is there anything else? Um, I do, um, well, it's weird, because, like, my job is, like, desktop support. So I, like, go... I answer call calls from people, but I also like just do like IT work, like fixing computers and stuff like that. So it's it's kind of like a weird amalgamation of both in a sense, I guess. Like I'm not, I don't, I don't work in like a call center, but we have a call center that answers calls and passes like help, help like tickets off and stuff like that. Okay, so that room house didn't have anything or any any things like oh, there's graves. Ooh, spooky. Okay. Anything in church? 
anything and show books in church okay oh yeah it's it's it sometimes it's a, it's a very thankless job especially when there's doctors that act like they don't have time to talk to you when you're trying to fix their shit you know it's it, it can be a little demeaning sometimes I had a few of those a few of those calls this weekend actually. Uh, it's a book entitled Leatherworking: An Introduction. A fur poncho is an invaluable garment. It protects the wearer from both heat and cold. It's also durable and lasts for a long time. Studies indicate that it can be created by combining two kinds of animal skin in some way. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's like um, it's like when dealing with like regular nursing staff, it's like a 50/50 on if you're gonna get kind of mistreated a little bit because them not having time or whatever but with doctors it's a little more skewed towards <laughs> unfortunate it seems great rocks it may look silly but take it from me a stone hard hat is a great way to protect your noggin they're easy to make too all you have to do is come on a stone axe and a certain kind of hat Books related to cows, including the Cow Whisperer, the Dairy Encyclopedia, and Grass and Grazing, an introduction. Fantastic. Okay, nothing there. Ooh, there's more. This place has a lot of bookshelves. Nothing there. Okay. And then nothing there. I'm mostly just trying to kill time because my end time is going to be at 11. It's a book of poetry titled The Tale of Ascantha. Luna, Luna, in the sky, on nights of full moon I shall try. If in the right place I do sit, a door is real by the light you emit. On the highest hilltop I shall, sh shall search, waiting on my mo mountaintop perch. Porch. <laughs> the magic doorway shines so bright, but only on a full moon's night. Oh, well, that's. Through the portal, your, dr your dreams lie. You would try it if you were wise. So that's another hint to where we had to go, but like. Yeah. No hint on how to actually get to there. It's a cookbook entitled Chuffed About Cheese. You can make your own cheese. All you have to do is combine rennet powder with fresh milk. If you're fortunate enough to have access to an alchemy pot, still let me put the ingredients into the pot and start cooking. In fact, you can make a whole variety of cheeses in an alchemy pot. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Every journey begins with a single step. Practice with the recipe for plain cheese first. Well, now it's, now it's just a case of finding milk. We got any Dragon Quest cows around here? <laughs> I've seen a few, but I don't know if we can like just walk up to them and like give us milk, or else I'll, I'll cast Frizz on you. <laughs> all right, kiddo, what's up? Yay, I'm outside. I'm outside. It's so bright, and look at all the space to play in. That's great, kid. It's been a long time since I've been able to stand out in the sunshine chatting like this. It's great to be able to have a good old chinwag again. Rumor has it that the Queen's ghost visited the king and gave him a right royal scolding. That's why he pulled himself together. That's Queen Sasha for you. You can always depend on her to keep the king in line. I don't know if I went in this house either, so we'll go in here and see if there's any goodies to uh, acquire. Oh, yep. Jar time. Is there someone in here I can throw it at? Uh, we'll just we'll, we'll throw it on their bed. <laughs> oh boy, property damage. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Anything else I can um commandeer? Ooh, what's up? Okay, can't can't do that. But let's see. What about here? Ooh, another mini metal. Okay, there's there's been like three or so just around this area. Still haven't found the mini the the metal man yet. I'm sure he's coming up before long, but. Well, that's about all this town's got to offer. So let's try leave and maybe there's some conversation with King Trode on what we do next, cause... Oh, yep. That was what I was hoping for. Well, it's all right for some, isn't it? No doubt King Pavan treated you to plenty of fine food and drink, you lucky toads. Woe is me, I'm a little sad man. The princess and I have been waiting, you know, stuck here outside town. Medea isn't much for conversation these days, hmm? 
Hey, it's not her fault she's a horse. I know how you feel, Granddad. If only you weren't so, uh, green, eh? Maybe we could get you into town, and you could have a drink or something. I ain't exactly a looker myself. I know what it's like to be discriminated against. Discriminated? I'm sure, that, I'm sure that's not the word, Yangus, but we'll go with it. <laughs> Wait, Gov. I've got an idea. The town I used to live in ain't too far south of here. How about we head off down there, eh? Sure. Pickham ain't no rose garden, but it's in the middle of nowhere, right? Even a strange old geezer like him would fit in. No problem. Old granddaddy will be able to get himself a drink. And we might get a clue about where that dull Magus has got to and all. There's a bloke there who knows everything about everything. We call him Brains. He's a mate of mine. He'll know something. Dead, sir. See? Two birds with one stone, eh? I ain't just a pretty face. Come on, let's get going south. Pick them, here we come. Well, there's where we go. Thanks, Angus. Thanks, Granddad. Alright, uh, let's look at the map and we'll kind of get a better... Maybe a little bit of... I wish you could move this map around. Um... Because it's just kind of south is a little vague. Uh, trying to, trying to just <clears throat> ascertain where to. Well, I guess we can just kind of go and figure it out. I think we're all full HP and stuff anyway. I do need to change the lineup though. Again. They keep they keep messing up the lineup. I'm honestly at this point Angel is kinda like the weakest in the party because he just we don't have any armor for him yet. Cause we can't we can't give him this. Anyway. Oh, alright, cool. Brownies. Boring. 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 Okay, fine, you're not that boring. <laughs> it said south, so. Um, should we go this way, perhaps? Again, I wish I could, like, move the map around. It's kind of annoying that you can't. Uh, jump. <laughs> okay, well. Oh, I should have bought a, a bow for, um... What's his face? Uh, Angelo. King Kai looking ass. <laughs> eh, it's fine for now. It's not like the bow would do that much more damage anyway. Looks like I can go this way. This doesn't seem like there's a path. Oh, there's some more trees. I mean, we are in the, the forest, so I guess that makes sense. Shit. 
chomp. Destroyed. 69 gold, nice. Oh, uh, we're playing the PS2 version, but I guess the uh, 3DS version of this game has, like, world map enemies instead of random encounters, which, eh, doesn't really bother me either way. Like, map encounters are great and all, but I don't, don't really mind random encounters. Alright, uh, I'll just... Bang! Well, at least they're just bugging him. Never mind. They're bugging him too. Oh, fuck it, whatever. Bang again! <laughs> Alright. Heal. Onward! I guess. I mean, this is pretty far south, so hopefully the town's somewhere nearby. Uh, perhaps that thing around the bin there is pick him. That icon looks like a town at least. Ah, Paprikans! Pe more pepper enemies. I think they, the first ones are red and green, these are red and yellow. Quadruple kill! I mean, they weren't really that dangerous, but just killing them quick is just better. Great, I don't know if they are dangerous, because they didn't really get a chance to show it. Oh wait, this is just a house. Well, we're gonna check it out anyway, because we're right here. If I can get ah mini demons, these probably can cast sp annoying spells. Otherwise, they're just gonna fork us up. <laughs> Stick a fork in them, they're done. <laughs> oh, that's not pleasant. Give me a moment. Uh, I'll, to, I'll check that in a sec. At the very least, we're gonna get to this house. Because I just realized it's about quitting time here. Um, I'm gonna heal though, because... I don't want to get into a, a bad situation where I should have healed and I didn't and then some enemies are gonna kill me. Because that would not be fun. But who do we have here? Hello, horse. Haunts? Who is this? It's a wonderful place for travelers on the way to Escanta and pick him to have a rest. Oh, alright. Oh, 
Oh, there's a church here too. What's up, dude? You keep going south along the path, you'll come to a town called Pickham. I wouldn't bother though if I were you. It's full of down and outs and thieves, you see. Everyone who has the misfortune to set foot in the place wishes they hadn't. Well, that's... I have a feeling I know what's gonna happen. Like, just someone's gonna, like, steal some more shit. Or something. It's the diary of a weapons dealer. Dear diary, I heard a great rumor in the pub today. It seems you can convert a common leather whip into a snakeskin whip using an alchemy pot. Sounds like all you need is a whip and an item with scales. I wonder if I have a weapon with scales in my shop. I can hardly wait to go to work tomorrow. Something scaly. It is interesting that in eight, they don't tell they don't always full out tell you the ingredients for a uh, item. In nine, you get the um, you get a recipe and it tells you what items you need. From what I remember, at least. It's been a minute since I played DQ9. Great game. Highly, highly recommended if you haven't played it. DQ9's really solid. Nice, nice haircut, dude. Just, just flip you, flip you on your head and take your hair and fill it with soup. <laughs> <clears throat> Greetings, I'm a traveling priest. I'm actually still in training, but maybe there's something I can do to help you. If you can save my game, that's all you need you to do. <clears throat> Alright. We're probably gonna stop here, because this is a, a pretty good, pretty convenient stopping point. And I'll turn back to normal for next stream. Do you intend to continue your adventure? No. Please grant this child a peaceful respite. All right. <laughs> All right, respite. All right, close that. And we'll put the stream in and screw up. Thank y'all so much for coming by and hanging out and watching me play some Dragon Quest Eight. I'm having a good time and I hope y'all are too. And thank you again, Chrono Triggers, for the follow. Um, tomorrow, is Tales of T well Tales Tuesday and we'll be continuing Tales of Arise tomorrow, which I'm also super fucking hyped to be playing because I've wanted to play it like as soon as I like, b -b -b boy, been really hyped to play Arise and I'm fun I'm glad I finally get to. It's really good. <sighs> so yeah, tomorrow is Tales of Arise, and Wednesday we'll be playing more Hydraneer, <laughs> which is fun because I just try to do stuff and I do it wrong or I mess it up or something it's just a good time nice and chill but appreciate y'all uh i'm gonna see if i can raid someone real fast just pass some of the the lerve along let's see if anyone's online or streaming uh oh well we got two different options here technically three but uh we're gonna drop in and see uh, diddy dragon seven one of my good pals he's playing pathologic which I don't understand, but it seems to me it's a game about, like, a plague or something. Which, I mean, COVID. <laughs> it's very topical. But I'm going to end my stream, and we'll be raiding into Digi Dragon 7. I hope to see you there.